hate rappers. Your bars is weak, you should drop the pen. I fuck these hoes once, then I fuck them again. For my pop in the pen, doing 10. When? When I was growing up needing a father. Instead, I got a sack of weed and a revolver from this hustler who said, I see you living with your single mother and your little brother. And ain't no other way to get paid today in this motherfucker. <laughs> Look, my ex girl, ancient history. I'm the beast looking at ancient history. I'm living, you kidding me? Canary diamonds flying to the Canary Islands. Seriously. You need more bars? Dig. Dig this. Your girl call you a boyfriend. She called me a blessing. Seldom does a legend speak to mere peasants. So listen closely. If you could walk in my shoes, you would think you just stepped in heaven. You must be deaf if you ain't heard my name. I expand my mind so much I got stretch marks on my brain. You give a black eye to the game every time you give a black eye to a dame. You do what a bitch would do. I group around killers who in his beef they get deep as they sell what would Hitler do. For the things you who are you? I am Marquette Burton. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. I am many things. It's about okay. radar. I would tell you my real life, but you would swear I'm lying. I wish you could see this fine Hawaiian I'm trying to fly in. She said she got vacation time. I said, go ahead, take it off. She's sitting on the plane. She said, I love you before she take off. Daddy's home. Ah. This is the big home. <laughs> Uh, if you can't find your girl, if you can't find your girl, that's cause she's on my nuts in this, in this crazy world, in this crazy world, and I'm you wish you had one of these gold watch black face. I think it's Sudanese. I'm in Hanoi with two of these bad Vietnamese chicks. Like, who is he? <laughs> Velvet T, gold watch on me. I'm keeping it P. Debo in a tug seat. I'd be a fool if I love him, love him. You'll be a fool if you trust him, trust him. Here with my niggas, we keeping it gangsta. Yeah, I'm a slayer, I'm just keeping it player. Player, player, player. I'm fucking her now, we're man, eating it later. Ugh. That's maybe why he is a hater. Hater, 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 hater. I'm wearing all black like I'm being a raider. Raider, 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 raider. You talk to police, we call you a traitor. Traitor, 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 traitor. I'm running the city, they call me for favors. I'm running the city, they call me the mayor. It's getting political with me. My street presidential, she really me the Banging my line, ho. Quit banging my line, ho. When you see me act like you don't even know me, ho. When you see me act like you don't even know me, ho. Come on, baby, get a clue. How you do what you do? How do you fall in love with me? But I'm not in love with you. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Sure. Peace to all the saints. Peace to all the saints. Yes. Peace to the saints. Yes. Peace to the saints. This is man, right? You did. Don't need the nation. Yeah. Here you go. Nation. Respect. Bless. We out here. Yeah, the saint and the sinner. Give me that for a pill. <laughs>
Okay. Arab thoughts is what Arab your chat said. Pose. Yeah, okay. Fair Make enough. The series. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Okay. Two well, one guy. go ahead and uh, give us your introduction and we're going to get cooking. Uh, my name is Jasmine Jafar. I am an OnlyFans creator. I'm also a lawyer. So a lot of people call me 304 lawyer. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Are there lenses in your glasses? No, I'm just trying to copy her. Okay. All right. Um, Yours do have lenses, though. Yeah. You're legitimately blind. Exactly. Fine. Um, My name's Farha Khalidi. I'm which camera? Just like uh, just look at me. We'll just talk. Okay. She'll work the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> um, my name is Farha Khalidi. I'm a content creator on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, but my best content is on OnlyFans.com. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Got you. And we have both of their information. So if you guys are perverts, uh, you can uh, patronize them and continue to make them more successful and upset the natural order of the world. Fantastic. Now, you I'm a little bit familiar with. We're, we're going to, of course, dig into some background. And I don't really want to debate you all unless it's necessary, because I have observed when people are debating you all, it's mostly I feel like they're trying to save a hoe. And I truly believe in letting a hoe drown. You know, I feel like they're trying to change you. They're asking you questions like, well, well, what are you going to do after OnlyFans? Well, because, I mean, we're going to be fine after OnlyFans. In what sense? Like we're going to be financially, like financially, uh -huh. mentally, like mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Yeah. Mentally. When, so, yeah, when starting our families, they're going to be yeah. rich and happy. Wow. Yeah. And you feel like currently you all are both mentally and spiritually sound. In the industry, definitely. I would say we have some of the most top tier mental health. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know what? That makes sense. It's almost like if I said, you know, in Darfur, I have good health comparatively. I don't know what Darfur well, is Darfur. I mean, if you look at our stories, both of us grew up like in intact homes. Like we don't we don't have those circumstances that sometimes lead people to this lifestyle. Like uh -huh. we just I've always had I have a lot of education, yeah. parents together, all of that. So I don't know where I would get this terrible mental health from. Yes. You were just naturally black hearted and soulless. I mean very sure. good. Very good. And you don't know where Darfur is. You've never heard of it. I don't know what that is either. Where'd you grow up? Upstate New York. Huh. Wow. I'm, I'm actually surprised. And where'd you grow up? <laughs> uh, Oregon. Oregon. I would think you both would know that those are two fairly liberal places. Darfur is in Sudan. Oh. Oh, okay. You, you heard of Sudan? Yeah. Yeah, we know. I, I, hey, 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 hey. I mean, you didn't, you've didn't. you not heard of Darfur. There's been an ongoing genocide. But hey, I mean, at the end of the day, you all show your butthole for a living. Uh, what's that? I said you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So we, we don't expect much of you. But um, when I look at you, now we realize everyone has their own taste. But when I look at you, you're counterintuitive for me, right? I'm not a consumer of pornography. But when I look at her, I'm like, okay, I get it. You got the huge juggies. Baby need a baba. Baby need a baba. So I'm like, okay, for sure. I understand how perverts would go here. But then I look at you and I say, hmm. Hmm. So tell me more. About that. I need an explanation. Like, I need an explanation. Like, this is what I'm saying. I'm basically like, look, if I were you, there's no way in hell I was, I'd be like, look, I could get paid by getting naked. I would, that would have never crossed my mind. I'd be like, I better study hard as hell in school because I need this education. Why? Because I don't find that you have any features that I would assume would be generally profitable in the industry that you're in. I guess I really lucked out then. I do pretty No, no, I don't. Well. I don't know that you lucked out. That's why I'm asking you because you know something that I don't know. You have an insight into men. You have an insight into your industry, and I'm, I'm sincerely curious. Um, I think a lot of people subscribe to my OnlyFans to talk to me in large part. Like, they find me via these debates, and they yes. want to have a conversation. I think that's a large appeal. Mm -hmm. They want to have a conversation, you think, because of your intellect or because they're lonely persons who also find you sexually appealing? I'm sure it's in tandem with that as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think if they were less lonely, they'd probably seek out conversation with people in their real life. <laughs> right, like like yeah. like real human, well, real the human beings. Top performers come in all like shape. It's not like all of them have that porn like big boobs look that I do. Well, I wouldn't like, even like, think a variety it's of things. Like if you look at the top performers, they they there's some that are really skinny and like have right. that nerdy e girl vibe. Yes. Some girls are like goth. Some people have that milf. Some people have like the big girl look, dominatrix look. Like people are all different. Right, but there's usually an extreme in some area, right? The extremely large behind, or the extremely skinny oh, girl, true. or That's the. Not true at all. Like Stella Berry is pretty like bone and store looking. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I was starting, I I assumed the same thing you assumed, mm -hmm. but then when I was like looking into starting OnlyFans and I was looking at girls like, okay, what do I want? Like looking at successful girls, some of yes. them literally just look like baristas that just just like an average, average everyday girl. Everyday girl that's just really good at marketing and so it's a marketing game, you yeah, say. For sure. It's definitely a marketing so game. So it's really psychology. It's marketing and psychology. Yeah. 
not even necessarily, hey, I have the natural gifts that we all know appeal to I the male eye. I don't think the most beautiful women on OnlyFans are making necessarily the most money. You yeah. know, that does make sense. a great sense. point because someone like you always says that, you know, if we didn't have these types of bodies, we weren't, we're not using our brain. You what do you mean someone like me? Have we met? No, I've seen you on whatever a little bit. And I think okay. you're the OnlyFans girls that, you know, if they had their brain in a man's body, they wouldn't be able to make any money. But you just right. said to me, I don't have a particularly like amazing body compared to i did not Earth say Star. that so my point is simply that like i, I, I just said you're i said to me you're bit. globally unattractive is what i was saying i didn't say you don't have a particularly good body i was just saying to me you're globally unattractive and so i was shocked at where you would get the sense to say damn i want to try to monetize my good looks really you're wrong because she's globally attractive well, he could be no he i am not wrong i said globally unattractive to me yes, so your see your listening attractive. skills are poor that's going to adversely affect your relationships. I, ha I mean, I don't know. I feel like I do pretty well in relationships. I, I don't think so. I think that you're with low you're quality, low grade males. Level. You're wrong on no, you're people. wrong on your listening because I said she's unattractive to me. So there's impossible so for me wrong. to be wrong well, about that. She could be unattractive to you. You're right. That could Thank be the you. Truth, now you've you proven your listening wrong skills. On how other people perceive her. I never your made a statement on how other people incorrect. perceive her. I never made a statement on that. So you're literally making it up. That's the problem. When you're not listening, no, not you can't you can't address you things. That she's a, sure, she's unattractive to you, but clearly right. your preference is outside of the general of her audience. That's yeah, right. That's why I asked her. Okay. No, she stop it. She would be generally objective. Stop it. Stop it. Poppycock nonsense. Uh, you're, you're a true comedian. I like that. We do have a number of questions that we gathered from our audience, and we will be taking some as we go. Uh, what do we have to start with? For a question? Yeah, for people who sent it in. Um, well, I know there's a shout out to Paul T for Peace to the Saints. Indeed, shout out. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing any questions. Okay. While you're doing that, um, shout out to Mr. Tabit came in via PayPal supporting the work. And thank you for putting the banner on the bottom for those who would like to support and cut out the Google Corporation, which is in fact a censorship corporation. Magnage Isaiah, who just became a member at patreon.com slash the saint in the center. Shout out to one of the saints who just sent in a double baller alert. Shout out to Brenton Healthy writes, thank you for your work. It is truly a pleasure. Shout out to Daryl writes, peace to the saints. I've learned so much from you. Keep spitting. Sir, yes, sir. Shout out to Caleb sends intuition. May I also acknowledge Joseph sending intuition. Shout out to Saint KGP. May I also acknowledge Shamar. He writes, peace to the saints. Planning on upgrading to a higher tier or course. Fantastic. Shout out to Neil supporting as well. And shout out to Dwayne. He writes, I would like to share this live. Will it remain up? Ha! Okay. Now I have a number of things that I think will be a little bit different to discuss with you all, but what were you doing before OnlyFans? Um, I was doing content creation full uh -huh. time, like TikTok. And then before that I was working in lobbying. And then before that I was in college. What's your age? 24. Okay. So you're 20. Oh, damn. So when you say before that and before that, th these are short periods of before. Okay. Fair enough. So you graduated university. Are you open to say where you went to school? Um, I went to Albany. I studied English okay. and then I worked as a writer for like five years throughout college and after okay. worked in lobbying for a little bit and then was doing TikTok pretty much full time since. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's curious. I right, So graduated school at 22. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then continued some stuff that you were doing in lobbying? Yeah, I was doing like um, TikTok as well as working at a lobbying firm at the time. And your TikTok, I imagine, was blowing up or showing you some level of promise? Yeah, at that point, my TikTok income like severely surpassed my lobbying income and I wanted to pursue that more. Okay, very good. And then when did you say, okay, I need to go from TikTok to OnlyFans? What was like kind of the... Um, I moved to LA and it's way less stigmatized in LA to pursue something like sex work and OnlyFans. So mm -hmm. I wanted to try it out of curiosity. So I started about a year ago. Okay. And you had it in you before you moved to LA or you felt like you were influenced once you got to LA? Not necessarily influenced. I more so didn't necessarily have the need. Like I was already making um, a decent income off of like TikTok and sponsorships, uh -huh. but and I kind of stigmatized it myself before moving to LA. Like I saw it as just a really dirty thing, something maybe how you see it. But once I moved to LA, I realized it's really just another platform to monetize off of akin to Instagram. Got you. And what was bad about it in your view before you started it? Well, my entire life, I went to like prep school and like old money schools and boarding schools. So I think from that 
purview, I just saw something like OnlyFans to be just like bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Got you. But you know, I was severely off base with that. Just a heads up. I don't know why it's not updated on TV. That's where we're actually at in terms of live. I have no clue why that looks like that. That's spooky as hell, isn't it? I didn't even, I wasn't looking at that's it. That's kind of weird how it's doing that. Yeah. There it says that we're at a certain watch rate and, and on here it says we're at but I would 750. Agree with you, I feel like you were really off based on that because the world is changing. Like we were talking about bad babies getting invited to Oxford. Exactly. And stuff. So like the culture is. Is the culture changing for the better or the worse, do you think? For the, the better. better. <laughs> That's awesome. Like more of That's us, awesome. less of you. Yeah, I like yeah. that. And when we say more of you, like, for example, in my case, I created an entire vertical. So I created something called effortless attendance, which means that before me this did not exist there was no possibility to instantly take attendance without anyone lifting a finger in the higher education space so i've made contributions to the world so sure. for you um, that's, what, that's, what has your contribution that's been disputed by many on the internet what is your contribution been well my contribution is that i speak up about the values i believe in on the internet i do a pretty good job of advocating for those values i get so what what is something that me. people can point to and say if you didn't exist this helpful positive thing would not exist i've impacted people's lives which in a in a positive way i've had a ton of people DM You're, you do you understand i'm trying to like get a specific thing like in my case i said i have intellectual property mm -hmm. i so would created you say, so would you yes. say like people like people political pundits or people like that work for different platforms and try to fight in the culture wars and shift the culture They're you're not, not understanding anything? my question you're asking for something tangible Okay, so what is something tangible that you've that contributed has to, be the to thing the that world? You contribute. Just like you could say Ben Shapiro has contributed a lot to the world by creating You're a not Ben Shapiro. So no, I'm just I saying you. That, but like, I'm talking about, created? I'm saying that your metric of it has to be a tangible thing. Is yes. And so you're saying doing real things in the world is not no, valuable. No, I'm saying that there's plenty of ways to impact society. I think you're saying society. that because you don't have any concrete contributions. And in the absence of just being honest and saying, Wait, show Marquette, me, show me your thing. one second, show me your one second. app or whatever. In the absence of, <laughs> because I just heard you scam second. people and you're poor. One second. In the absence of having done something, you just deny the validity of people who do because you've done nothing. And it's okay, but don't have an inflated sense of self. That's your problem is that you think you're bigger and better than you are when really like you're, you're just an average person. You have, well, or you're just I an think average we're all person. average people, but I don't well, think... she was saying tangibility can't be the yeah, metric, the metric unless you because say Because then ben you're Shapiro saying that Hold on one second. She doesn't need help. She doesn't need help. Then you're saying Tucker Carlson and all these people. I'm you're not Tucker Carlson. You're an OnlyFans girl. So all I'm asking... Tucker Carlson sits here. You're not Tucker Carlson. You're an OnlyFans girl. One second. Yeah, she doesn't need help. No, make the so decision. all I'm asking you is what is one thing? I'm not saying more than one thing because I could name well, a couple things, but answer. just just you're one thing that tangible. you have done that if you I, well, hold I on one second. Answer, but you said that it's not like a let me just cla let me clarify. Bottle, so let me count. clarify the question. I gave you let the me, answer. Just let me clarify the question. If you're you were flexible. not here, if you were not here this good thing would not exist. I wouldn't be advocating for sex workers. I wouldn't be advocating for my values in a way that actually changes people's minds. That may not be tangible with your fake tangible. No, thing that everyone the, says is but other anyway. people have done that. So what I said is if you weren't here, there are plenty of slores advocating for OnlyFans because that's how they earn oh, money. There's actually not many there's girls plenty. on OnlyFans there's that are plenty. actually as well. Like that's part of the reason we get so much. Do you know that just that? 48 hours ago, there were two OnlyFans girls sitting pretty much where you are doing the same thing, advocating for OnlyFans? Is but this a unique not, yeah. job description that yeah. you have? Yeah. Is this like, are you the only person that put your scams out into the universe? Are you the only person that scams I, I like what you're doing is you're making up lies because your truth is no, no good. No, I don't know. Your but truth is, is no good. Hearing. Your truth hearing. is no good, so answer? you make up lies. Real quick, let us just let us just finalize the fact that you've done nothing to contribute to so the society. So if you think, then you have Quick. to give the and you what's never more, answered my question. Answer and my what's question. More than if that, it's not tangible, is quick. it not contribution? And what's is, more if than not that, not tangible, is it not contribution? We were talking about the uniqueness, not, which is to say that you matter because if you weren't so here, is, this is, thing wouldn't so exist. So are you saying that because so you've our never done anything? Because our platforms aren't big enough. Because if, if no, it's Tucker not. Carlson it's not the size of platform. Yeah, it's because you've Tucker done Carlson, nothing. You could say the same thing to him. You could say there's other political pundits. Why do you have to bring up Tucker Carlson? Because I'm trying to because you have nothing that you've done. No, because you're saying that the reason that my contribution you, is you don't have it's one not tangible but i point to other no, really because it's not unique listen they don't do it listen is lex Friedman yours or joe rogan what have yours they done? is not what is joe rogan done? listen your is contribution is it because of the number you of just asked me a question my answer you're not answering them. you just asked a question so if you have you to stop answering. talking for me to answer 
You, we the still answer. don't know what an NFT is. So the problem is this. Because if you don't answer the problem the is this. That years. you are ashamed and your truth is that so is bad, you start lying. You, I asked you, you one question? second. You don't have to over talk me. You don't answer have to over talk. Answer you the question. have answer contributed the question. nothing. Answer the question. And that's answer why you question. start talking about Tucker answer Carlson, Joe Rogan. You're no Tucker Carlson. You're no Joe Rogan. That, you have to take to off your, your metric, clothes because you are such metric, little value. You got to take off your clothes. All right. No all right. one right. believes you you're laughing. You no one believes okay. you're, no one believes you you're laughing. We can leave it there. We can let the audience. No one believes you're laughing. Nothing's funny. We know you're fake laughing. It's really funny. <laughs> just answer this just real quick real quick what is a unique contribution that only you have that. made i will answer no one that. else can can that say that they've done it no, what is one thing is that just you, you've this done this is how you form this is how you have a conversation just one thing that you've done you asked me what i've done no I one said, else is advocated done. for my principles if you can't and then i say you're like that doesn't count because it's not tangible so i give you examples of other people who don't have tangible contributions and you have ignored that question we're not talking minutes. about other people that's called a red herring you're trying to distract from the fact that no, you've done nothing saying, you've contributed nothing thank you we're done here now on to you now on to you okay all of now on to you all pundits do something now on to you 24 year old now on to you her from tucker carlson and uses original now on to you you're talking at the same time you don't have to talk at the same time you're done so i'm asking you for you if tucker carlson is irreplaceable why is that why do you put that distinction there no 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 i'm gonna follow up follow up for you you talked all that shit wait did you understand the question yes we both you seem to not one second for no reason one second. and you said because we need one intangible. of you hold on so one second said, we need one of you to talk value this. From, we're gonna let you talk just stop stop, stop 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 we're gonna let everyone talk yeah but you guys can't talk at the same time we, we weren't we'll go back and forth <laughs> you you're literally doing everything. it right now stop now for you did you understand my question what did, tell me my question so make sure you understand um your question made no sense because first you said what is something Wait, you did you under if it made no sense do you need me to explain it to you no i can try to explain it to you part but it made no sense so you're not even making sense yourself you can't understand something that makes no, no sense i'm gonna steal man your position because i don't think you're able to articulate stop your own it question. you went to a second rate college you didn't do anything you went into TikTok as a profession now you're showing your butthole i worked you're of lobbying. modest and intel you're of modest I intelligence and you're of even I less impressive attractiveness thank you you're so aggrandizing much. yourself your question you're completely no mad sense. your question you your benefit first, from lonely I people only one person talks at a time now yes i benefit do you understand people. This do you is our, understand thank you, we the can question quantify our value now we mitigate male loneliness at a large scale men would probably kill themselves if they didn't talk to us yes, meanwhile yes. this men you spam are probably scammed. at a higher rate yeah. of suppression <laughs> they come to us for rehabilitation why, why do you keep you fake laughing them? real quick why do you keep fake That's laughing genuine laugh why do you keep fake laughing? How are we That's both like fake laughing? laughing. Like maybe we're you're doing it again. You're uncomfortable. That's what that is. I'm so comfortable. You're uncomfortable. I'm you're fake sweats. laughing. I'm in my your microphone outfit. was I'm trembling chilling. a second no, ago. Because we were laughing. Your your microphone was trembling and you're fake laughing. I was trembling. This hand will tremble too. So, anyways, <laughs> say your question was, what is something of value you've done? So she said, I um, espouse my ideas. That only you have done. That if you were not here, it would not have been done. We have seen no one else do what you've done. Right. And you don't apply that metric when you're evaluating the like when you're appraising someone like Tucker Carlson or Ben Shapiro, because there are other conservative pundits. So what's the distinction? OK, between I just want to make like sure that? I understand. I want to make sure I understand. Ever? You think that you're as valuable as a Tucker no, Carlson. No one has said that. We're I'm asking. So then question. don't complain. Don't compare. Impaired? You do not I mean, have to. You do not your have to compare your yourself is. to Tucker what, what? Carlson. Women who are basically online strippers, you have no right you to compare yourself question? to a Tucker no, Carlson. No right he just went and interviewed the question? head of state of Russia, Can and you're in your kitchen, butt ass so naked. Is that tangible? That's is amazing. That tangible? <laughs> That's amazing. It's not about tangibility. It's about the uniqueness. Now, listen, I'll repeat it one more time. What's one thing that you've but contributed people, to the world that if you Putin, weren't here, no one else would have done it? people have been commentators on Fox News. So what Fantastic. is the unique thing that Tucker Carlson You don't have to talk about Tucker. He's not here. To, talk about yourself. No I want everyone to see you're running. You're running. <laughs> Not, You're talking so about bad. Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, all these other people. What have you done? Right now. What are you? What have you done? That is a unique contribution. That if you were not here, we can't say anyone else has done. Um, I got a billion views on TikTok last year for a format I solely invented, which was like a specific type of satire and commentary. I made money doing a lot of type of other sponsorships. What? It's not a tangible. Scam. I'm so sorry. <laughs> say the name of your app again. That's yeah, so what, original. What, what app is this? I really want to look this up because apparently no one on no, the no, internet I'm can so find right. it. I'm working on an app on my phone right now. I, okay. I have so much value. I, I like this. I like where we're going. Val We've I, mitigated male loneliness at a large scale. I just want to make sure I'm getting this. Because people have found consolation sure in talking okay. to us. Is that tangible? 
I, I want to mental health. I want to make sure I'm understanding. So I'm going to repeat them sure back too. to you once Please you do. tell me. Okay. So your first contribution was you said you got a billion views with a B. A B. That's pretty good. Thank no, that, that is impressive. You got a billion views with a B. Mm -hmm. Are you the only person who's ever done that? Mm, I invented <laughs> my own vertical, which a okay. lot of people copied. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Own, well, tell me about that. I'm, I'm interested. Tell me. Um, I created this own like satire structure where I do like social commentary with like a skit and a character in it that a lot of people ended up copying and it was pretty original on the site at the time. Okay, I'm gonna repeat back to you what I understand of that. So did I say it was groundbreaking? No. Not like your app. No, I'm just saying not like, like your like, attendance app that's groundbreaking. If we're just basing off originality, I did something pretty original. Real quick, let me just pause this real quick. You think that your accomplishments compare to mine? You, we, no one knows your accomplishments. Everyone thinks you're a scammer on the internet. So I would love to actually see this you, app, you, this intellectual property that also is intangible. You're By hilarious. that metric, I started a company that no one else started because it's my company, just like you started what did an app that no one else Yeah, knows what did your that. company do? It's just my company. Uh, what is I it see, done? You, just like yours, I at see. least yours is, this is very good. scamming. So, what is an attendance So give, give me an example. Wait, give me an example. I want, I want to know. Give you. me an example. I have, I have a JD. I've never seen your Wait, where'd you go to school? I know. I don't. Ah, I see. Okay, thank you. But You're done here. I will right, we'll come back to you. So the first thing is, so you said you did a billion views, which people I get also views. Staff All right, great. Wrote for a company then for four I years. want to just make sure I keep pace yeah. with it. And then the second thing you said that you created a format in terms of how to do videos mm -hmm. that other people you say are copying. Yeah, at the time. Okay, and your format is to do satire and commentary. It was like a very specific, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. It was like just a specific satirical style. Okay. Do, do you think that that constitutes intellectual property? Well, you're adding more things to. So that if you wanted to send that in to the IP office, they could, you know, verify that this is a unique Yeah, offer. I got a lot of accounts deleted because they would copy my scripts verbatim and they infringed on my IP, I guess. Is and I is got that, sponsorships for over five figures because they wanted to use my IP and my skits to uh -huh. promote their brand. So, so, so you're a unique creative I've mind. With, yeah, I've worked with the Biden administration to create skits in that format to promote uh -huh. presidential campaigns. Yeah. Your okay. usual MO is That's to call us dumb. And no, you, you, you are. You no, you us. are. You, can't you are. Us. I like, you are. We both have our you're super smarter, accomplished apps. You're smarter than the guys who subscribe to you, but. You if are you're dumb. going to call Wait, a, a licensed attorney. Dumb. She's a licensed attorney. Yeah. I worked in lobbying. You, I worked as a staff you, is, writer. No, I worked your your so, go-to is to tell like, like you did on the whatever so podcast. So you believe you that women. you believe that everyone who's a licensed attorney is intelligent? No, but to say that because your normal thing to do is if you guys weren't selling your bubbles on the internet, you'd be you nothing. Could, you we, were both making six figure, we were both making six-figure both making six-figure incomes, which is more than anyone can say about you, honestly. We were both making six-figure incomes way before we started selling our buttholes. Why do you have to lie? That's my issue with people like you. It's just literally what I mean. All right, let's do this well, how much money do i make like, so is everyone no on hold on one second about you or just how much me? money do i make uh apparently nothing i, I mean see I do you know. see how stupid no hold on let's let's get to reality do you know how stupid you sound you said apparently nothing uh, that's what i hear see you're you're the liar no and one, everyone no can see questions. because you sound ridiculous no you sound ridiculous how much ben shapiro makes people question how much you make do you know why because you're so great and your attendance app is just so underground that no one can find I'll it. I'll tell you why. Because someone like you is easy to pick off. I can look at you and I can pick off your face easily. I can pick off your fake lips. I can pick off your fake body. No, remember, I, can, I, can pick, I have DMs. I'll post them of him admitting that I my can, body's real. No, I didn't admit that your body's real. I said your breasts are real. Yeah, but you said they no. were fake last time and you could tell because I hear you. you're such I hear you. a good a That's breast fine. connoisseur. You're clearly wrong. That's fine. But anyways, you're easy to pick off. So no Clearly one not. you were wrong. Hold on, don't interrupt. You, you don't you don't have to interrupt to conceal you keep the interrupting truth. Us, and this is like the you're easy to pick so off. Go. And because you're so easy to pick off, there's a million things to say about you that are clearly and apparently true. That you were wrong on Now, in your case, we don't need to make up anything. But then when people look at me and they see my pedigree, there's nothing true that you can drag through the dirt. So when I ask you for evidence, okay, what's my income? We don't have then any you evidence of your stupid. income being what it is. There's a reason you're the what, only person let me on ask the internet that they do this to. They're not doing this to anyone No, else. don't talk about they. You're no. here. Don't talk about Tucker Carlson. You're here. Be accountable. You're so no. smart. Don't talk okay. about anyone when else. Anyone you're here. You up, when how much money do up, I make? When everyone looks you up, all we see how, is no, fake. How much no, money do I make? Of, it's fake. You literally made a fake beat. How much money? Listen, don't stay on topic. Stay on topic. Why did you private that? Stay on topic. You see people like her, they got to run. You were talking about how much money I make. How much money do I make? Stop the fake laughing. I haven't seen any evidence to the contrary. 
Now, any evidence to the contrary? If you want to show now, me, that so you what's have the a, evidence? What's the evidence that I make the zero? Evidence that you make because you're a zero lawyer. Give that, the evidence. Yes, the evidence. Okay, here's it. Is. The yes. evidence that you make zero is all the websites saying you make money are fake. Okay. The fact that you have been exposed for scamming your audience for four thousand dollars. The fact. That wait, you wait. Make, tell us about that. Finish, no, we want to hear about that. No, we want to hear all of it. Let me finish. How? Tell me about the four thousand dollars scam. Told me. Then apparently you make fake BBC. You're completely lying. Here's the thing. Let me tell you something about you. Real quick. It. Let me tell you something about Pray, people play, like no, you. You're over here mumbling. You sound like a fool. Play First it. off, you're fake laughing because you're uncomfortable. Like your microphone was shaking space. a little bit ago the because you're nervous. Because that's no, that's okay. It's okay. Then number three. Idiot. Then number three. Now you're big mad. Big mad. Number <laughs> three. Mad. That's fine. Like okay. Switching hands. I just listened to the you. Heavy microphone. I hear you. I'm I just listen princess. to you. I can't carry this for very That's long. That's fine. I just listen to you now. Now listen to this. But apparently then, when people shake, it's only one hand. Then someone and like you and it's fine. is making claims. And here's the funny thing. You're supposed to be a lawyer. You were supposedly trained in an industry where giving evidence is of paramount importance. You say I make zero dollars. It just sounds silly. No, someone okay. At, so here's no, the No, don't interrupt the, now. No, now no, I'm no, responding. No. Don't interrupt. Okay, then you, you say I make se uh, zero dollars. Someone at 7-Eleven at, at least makes an hourly wage. So you don't even sound realistic. So we can never believe you because you have no integrity. Hold on, we're not done. Then you want to talk about a scam. I love when people bring this up because I always say, tell me about the scam. Like, I want to hear the details. And let me give you an example of how dumb you sound. Just two months, in fact, it was closer. It was like a month ago. I had my engineer on, Seth Kitchen, who's an aerospace engineer and at a Fortune 1 company. He came on and explained everything we've ever done in the tech industry. And so how can someone like you come on and make up nonsense? Nobody so can right now, explain, evidence. explain. You mentioned I'm, I'm, a $4,000 yeah. scam. Explain. I'm, I'm going to tell explain you. I'm going it. to tell you. You tell me claim the scam. to be making this exorbitant amount of money. And this no, is not no, verified. No, no, the $4,000 scam. The tell me. The proof is on you when you no, say you're making you a bunch of money. No, you just said that. No, no I never said that. You're making a bunch of money. Yes, I you never, do. Well, how much money did I say I make? If you Google yourself, you make fake profiles How much, of yourself. You now you're making up have, lies again. No, you do. Shh, you're lying. Everybody tell me, it. you okay. mentioned a four thousand dollars scam. Tell us, everybody, audience. Tell audience, us the four thousand dollars scam. Here, please look up this man and look up. Why do any we see every time she has to call for Tucker Carlson, call for Joe Rogan, no, call, call, call for the, the audience? Yes. You're so intelligent. Okay, all right, wait, you're so intelligent. Okay, let's do tell this. me let's the four thousand dollars scam. I agree. Let's do this. You're gonna tell me the four thousand dollars scam. Let me pull you up. Yes, tell me the four thousand dollars scam. Audience, that you are some genius. Okay, Audience, we are waiting to hear about a four thousand dollars scam. Let's see what your net worth is, because no, we are waiting to hear first about the four thousand dollars scam. Yeah, you were seeing. Tell us about the so four thousand dollars scam. Million, here's eight million. These are all none of these are real plates. Tell places. me about the four thousand dollars scam. You scammed your audience for four thousand dollars. It's all over the internet now. Did well, I look into the how, details of that? No, but there's a reason. Whoa, nobody so is you're making, making up things. No, well, I'm listening to then a explain. Bunch of other people explain the. Four thousand dollars scam. I'm explaining it to you okay. that you are known on the internet. Now I didn't do a deep dive on you personally, but oh, you are known on the internet in a way no other content creator. Can you explain the scam? I'm this to you. What is there the scam? There are plenty of people on the internet that pe don't, people what don't. What is accuse, the scam? People don't accuse Fresh and Fit of scamming people. What people is don't the accuse scam? Of whatever it's only you. We hear you right now. You're not explaining because you, you sound it's only no. You you're not explaining. That is known for being broke. You're not explaining you're because you have no evidence. You're you have no evidence. Broke on the internet. No and we feel sorry for you. Known for being broke on the no, internet. I want to tell you all this you. time. Explain Only the scam. You. Just Only, explain you it. You didn't explain anything. We no, explain, explain the scam. No, you didn't explain anything. We oh, to explain. you refuse to explain it. No, I'm a scammer. I want to know. Are. Explain it. You are. Explain it. You are. Everybody I could do this it. to anyone Everybody who says it. it. You know why? Because you're making up things. Now, let me show you how this works. Let me show you how this works. Let me show you how this works. No, 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 no. Explain the scam. No, no, no. I'm not, Explain the you scam. You have not answered a single one of our questions. So oh, you want to now she's ours, now she's saying I'm I'm not answering ours, questions, so she doesn't have to explain it. We're not going to be playing this game. You have lied, and instead of admitting no, Marquette, you, I was mad at you. I didn't have anything right, legit anything to else? say. Anything else? I didn't until have anything legit to say. Anything else? All anything I can else? do is make up lies. Anything else? Just say you were mad anything and you made up a lie. Anything else? Just say you're mad. You made up a lie. Answer our questions. Just say you're mad. You made up a lie. Answer our questions. We already Answer asked you. You mentioned a four thousand dollars scam. Explain it. We already it. asked you. Why won't answer you explain it? Why won't you, you never, answer our you questions? Never finished your point. You said yeah. we no, no, don't no. provide value. No, 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 no. What's the four thousand dollars scam? What is the all the questions explain we asked? Answer. Answer. Explain the scam. Show me your intellectual property. 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 You're trying to distract because you have no answer. You, don't you have didn't start asking about that until I asked you. Yes, That's I sad. I asked you about you it didn't ask about ago. that until Where I asked about the scam. Show it to me. 
Ask Show about me your the intellectual scam. property. Can you give me the You're name? a liar. Can I see it? You're an actual liar. You're a liar. You should be you're ashamed of yourself you be because you're making fun of things. You're ashamed of yourself. You're making up things because you have no integrity. You're a liar. You, have you no realize that you've never done you anything. And when you're, you're sitting lying, next to someone so you who has, you have to make up things. What is the name of this intellectual property? What That's is it? Sad. What's the name of this intellectual property? That's so sad. sad. You're, you're making up intellectual property that you don't have. That's really sad. That's so sad. You really sad. You can Google my name and find many things. But tell me what the $4,000 scam is. What is your intellectual property? I need to go to jail. What is your intellectual I want to go to jail. I want what is to the know scam? Your I want to use your attendance app. What I is the scam? I want to know how to use this attendance quick. app that nobody else has created. And calm down. No calm down. What is it called? Calm down. What Just tell us what the scam is real quick. Tell me what your Because I want everyone to be tell free. Tell me what your app is called. I'll answer after you. Go for it. Tell me what the scam is. Tell me what your app is called. Already tell me what your idea is. Listen, here's the problem. Tell me what you've patented. You are so scared right now because you're busted. You're busted. You're scared because you're you're busted. You're you're busted. busted. You're busted. We can go through my whole career. I'd be happy to. Just first tell us what the scam is. No, you first tell us what the scam is. I run the show. Think about it. If tell someone me. was sca- if someone was a scammer, they wouldn't want to go into if details. Let's go into the details. Scammer, if someone actually Let's go into made the details. And they made IP, Let's go into the details. You're a lying whore. You're tell a lying me. whore. And that's the problem. People like you have no integrity. That's why we can't trust what is your IP? you. That's why we what can't trust IP? someone like you. What is your IP? Just what tell us. You just said you're not ashamed of what you just do. That tell your us. parents love what you do. What is your IP? Tell us. What it tell us. Tell us what the scam is. Tell us. Tell us what the scam is. Tell us what your IP is. You are Tell such a sick I- person. You <laughs> are such us, a sick I person. I'm so sorry. I, I swear <laughs> I want to get like a face towel and just wipe all that paint off of your face so we can see you for who this you really real. are. <laughs> I really do. I really do. Because someone like you, you exist on so much falsehood. What is your IP? You exist on what so much IP? falsehood. What is your intellectual property? All you have to do is what Google is my name. Property? Everything is there. What but is let's your intellectual tell property? What, what's not okay, there I'm is the scam. Look for it. I'm going to look for it. What tell is us your the scam. Property? Real quick, no, just tell, tell us the scam before we go on. No, because you said before we go on, just tell us the scam. And you said just so tell us the scam. Is, no, tell us what your you just said. I'm a scammer. Tell us the scam. Tell us what this app is. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Damn. Tell us your app. I'll tell everyone. You're all fans. falsehood. You're all falsehood. What is your IP? You're using, what you're trying you to use debate What tactics. have you created that I can look up? You're literally what saying exactly your, what I said to you. What is That's your, good. You're what saying exactly your, what I said to you. What is your IP? That's very good. What has this That's man That's very created? good. I like Guys, that. Everybody on the internet, let's try to Stop figure out what it. the fuck his IP is. Just tell us what the scam what is. What is your IP? You're a pathetic what human being. What property have You've you created? You've done nothing. What you're still mad. Property? You're still mad what because we exposed okay, about you. About this, when I this, said, this, what have you done that no one else has done? You couldn't name anything. You're still mad about that. You're still mad because you realize that you're worthless on earth. You realize you're worthless. I don't know anything about the scam. You realize you're worthless. All right. I made up the scam. What's your IP? You realize you're worthless. What's your IP? You are a liar. You are a liar. the scam. No, you didn't make it up. But why did why did you say that? I completely lied. Why did you say the lie? I lied. I'm a bitch. I'm a whore. Yeah. Yeah. Why did, your why did you say the lie? Because I'm a worthless whore. What's your IP? Why did you say the lie? Why? I'm a worthless whore. What is your IP? Yes. I already explained I'm it. Do you remember? By the devil. No, what's your IP? Do you remember? What's your IP? Would you understand? I, I, w- I love to like, yeah, yeah. because I want to know. Okay. What's your IP? So I'll All summarize right. this real quick for okay. you. Okay. And I want to look this up. I'll summarize time. this real quick for you. <laughs> okay. It's a $4,000 scam. What is it? No. Explain it. <laughs> Explain it. I lied. It's a $4,000 scam. Liar. What is it? Explain I'm it. I'm a dirty liar. Okay. What have you created? Right. What is We're your IP? On. What is your IP? No, we're, we're going to carry on because I'm a liar, you, you, I'm a lying whore. you got I made exposed. Up, I completely made and up you this big mad. scam. You He's big a mad. wealthy entrepreneur. You're One such second. a wealthy One second, entrepreneur. Love. What Keandre is your IP? writes message in the chat. What is your IP? Keandre, can you actually send that message via the email address that's at the bottom? Because we actually can't dig through the chat right now. What's your IP? Shout to Nick. He writes, peace to the saints for doing the good work out here. Save yourself. What's the good work? What's his IP? Shout to Keandre. He writes, Google is bugging. I'm in Austin, Texas for any saints. Okay. I acknowledge those who came in via Are we never going to know? Can we get Shout to Adonis. He writes, peace to the saints, Marquette. I sent the payment for a consultation to you earlier today via Cash App. I want to book it for 3 p Okay. All right. Uh, I will follow up on uh, on this one with you if you could resend that because you can imagine my inbox is flooded right now. Thank you for that. Magnage Vilkin, he writes, damn, here we go, Saint. The red herring is crazy already. Indeed. Jasmine is IP? already triggered and asking what is the what? IP? What is the IP? Jasmine, I, I, we, I, we you, just have to, you just have to hold on for a second. Love. You're we're, not, we're going through while the you're trying to make up something? We're going through the formal things. Just hold on. 
Vilkin writes, damn, here we go, Saint. The red herring is crazy already. Jasmine is already triggered, clearly, and asking what's an NFT and calling the Saint a scammer with no evidence. I'd like to see it we myself. Have no evidence of Please his IP come either. back with the proof when Saint does a live himself. Of your IP. You know what actually is a funny thing? I actually Where's did a live IP? session and I invited everyone IP? to come on and explain the scam. Where's your IP? And no one showed What's up. What's your IP? It's a shame. Rodney IP? Jones comes in with a baller alert. He writes, this is the issue. Individuals make unfounded statements without any supporting like evidence. I have an IP that I don't have. Jasmine, come on, love. Like you can go back and forth. Just let me read. This I real would quick. love to. Once you answer, I'll. Shut I hear the fuck you. Up. I, I understand that you're Once angry, you answer, but if I'll you just calm up. down, we're just going through the housekeeping. I'm sure everyone on the internet Jasmine, really calm. want to know. I'm we, doing we have this, to run a show. You just calm down a bit. Just calm down what is a bit, your Jasmine. IP? Jasmine, really, okay. be more tasteful. Come okay, on. Which, I'd right. love to. What's this is the issue. Individuals make unfounded statements without any supporting evidence. Like she your IP. Sorry, I yeah. just, until you, you answer. You, you just look immature right now. We understand. We can go I back for the entertainment okay. piece. Sure. You're here to promote, right? We'll make sure I've that you, done you're that. able to promote. I've, we got our we have some person. housekeeping items, so we'll go through the housekeeping items. Will you items. answer, Axel? I, I don't if actually hate me, you, Jasmine, you but we have to carry me? on with the show as mature business people. Will you answer people. after? You see, like, will you answer I know after? you obviously lack will experience in the business world, but you have to realize that there's a certain decorum that you have to have. So you have to calm down. Let's see if by the end of this, he tells us what his IP is. Just calm down. We right, we can yeah. get back to babbling. Let's just take I'm, care of the I'm housekeeping. I'm not calm. I really want to just, know why just you're relax, lying about relax, an IP. relax. You're clearly out of control because people who watch YouTube they all realize that you got to yeah, take care of Definitely, I'm the one that looks dumb yeah, on YouTube, not calm, you. Right, right. Just okay, calm cool, down. Calm cool. down. Thank you. All right. She believes that babbling and elevating her tone will conceal the fact that her claim lacks evidence. Oh yeah, that was a bowler alert, by the way. Carrying on. All right, I think we might be caught up here. Can okay, you hit cool. us What's with your the, IP, one, one second. Can you hit us with those super chats? Uh, I have a shout out to Chris Jake of Rebunk. These 304 sync. Thank you for being a great leader and doing the great work. Peace I appreciate it. Peace to the saints. Um, and if you pull that mic a little bit closer, just make sure that they can hear you. Uh, deeply goaded. Peace to the saints. We have major mind and soul. How is it that all these YouTubers know about some scam you pulled, yet they can never explain it? The because he doesn't tell us what he's actually mapping. done. Right. Uh, Darius Cambliss, uh, Warquet. Um, shout out to first the haters claim it was, or Me shout too. out to Paul T. First the haters claimed it was a $400 scam. Now Yeah, it was $400, $400 and it was $2,000, then it was $4,000. This shit is crazy. It we don't know changing. what your IP is, though. It we don't know changing. what you contributed. Can we ask the Real same quick, question though? to Are you? you what have you contributed What's the to the next world? claim? $4 million? I know. That is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That yeah. is crazy. It's shit. All, like is, crazy enough that you crazy. created an IP you that you can't name. King Toon, Linda, listen, you got to take it down a notch slowly. Jordy. Yeah, she's getting wild. Things are Things are going quickly, yeah. All caught up? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to move on because no, you you're, the IP, you're though? pretty angry. You won't tell um, us? Anyways, we'll, we got a number of questions here. <laughs> All right, cool. So We can't wait to cut that one. Okay, very good. Uh, first one is, are you okay with your daughters if you had them and or granddaughters? They really went down to the granddaughters with it. That was crazy. And or granddaughters doing the very same things that you are doing. And this is a multi-tier question from the fans. So what do you uh, got? Well, yes. Do you mind if we start with her just because she, she hasn't talked as much and then we'll come to you? Yeah. I am okay with it. I think our society is progressing in a direction where sex work is getting destigmatized. I would only not be okay with it, not because I'm morally against it, but only if it would hinder their job prospects and they couldn't like retire off it. But I think if they could retire off it or the job market at that point wouldn't care too much, then I would be supportive. Okay. So I'm just going to repeat what I understand of your answer, which is to say if they can make enough money that they can retire from the sex work, meaning be stable after that, you're you're down. Yeah. Or if they can't retire, but the job market, they wouldn't be affected in the job market going forward, then that'd be fine, too. Meaning that the if they became a public school teacher, they wouldn't get fired for having only fans. Um, I don't know if that specific job will ever yeah, be but, compatible but I'm with saying as an in sex work. But in oh, general, for instance, like if they wanted to work at a law firm afterwards and the culture was that law firms won't discriminate against you on the basis of being a sex worker, then okay. I don't see any issue with that. Yeah. Do you see an issue with becoming a public school teacher after being a sex worker? Mm. I think if you stop doing the sex work while you're being a teacher, then I think it's fine. Oh, but you can't do it at the same time. I don't know. Actually, I'd have to think about that more. So you're torn on that one. Well, why, why are you I'm torn? I'm torn. I guess I haven't given that one enough thought. Right. 
and, and why do you like obviously there's something in your gut that makes you feel like oh, i need to think about this as opposed to like oh no this is this is a good thing mm, not necessarily not a good thing it's more so what would the implications be on the child and if there was a culture in which students were just pulling up like the teacher's porn in the middle of class and that created like you know a very sexed learning environment and that would uh -huh. obviously hinder the child's learning but if there were sanctions on that moving forward where the students learning would not be hindered by the teacher also being a sex worker then i think it could potentially be fine so you're saying sanctions on what the students can do or you're just saying a in the sense culture. where like if they had like enough safety precautions that there wasn't going to be like porn in the classroom or you know students were going to be go going home and like sending it to each other and then they're like now getting exposed to porn does that make sense? No, elaborate for me. Um, I'm saying like in the future moving forward, it becomes more normal for now people in lots of professions, like lots of nurses have only fans on the yeah. side. Lots of teachers have only fans on the side. I think that will become more increasingly normal. And I think as it becomes more normal, there'll be sanctions on what's allowed in the classroom, whether like certain sites are banned. I mean, that's probably already the case in most schools. Like I would think yeah, well, only fans is banned. Pornhub is banned. Yeah, but people have their own personal device and on your personal device, you can pull up whatever you like, right? So you might be talking about like the Wi-Fi, yeah, for like example, school right? Wi -Fi. But if you were the teacher and I'm in class and I'm like, you know, so you're teaching, what ethnicity are you? I'm Indian and Saudi. Indian and Saudi mm -hmm. by blood. So you have one parent that's Indian by blood and one per, uh, parent that's an Arab. Yeah. Okay, very cool. So anyways, I'm I'm in the back of your chemistry class with the homie like, uh, uh, oh my God, look, she's a throat goat. Fast forward. Oh my God, slow it down. I don't want to get yeah, injured. Yeah, there'd have to be a way to sanctions that. But the thing is, even if the teacher- How does that happen? I'm not completely sure, but I don't think even preventing this teacher from being a sex worker will stop that because now deep right, fake yeah. porn is proliferating. So people cre are creating deep fakes that, of their classmates that's, regardless. That's so even thing. like preventing the teacher from being a sex worker won't hamper that environment. You just have to change the culture and create sanctions on it. So the sanctions, that's the part that's scary. And often leftists, they talk about these kinds of things. When you say sanctions, it really translates to control. You're trying to control what people can do. Yeah, so well, how do you like, practically do that? So you if limit, I'm in, you limit certain sites on school Wi-Fi, you um, have you ever been to a country where they uh, limit certain sites? No, but if never you're, once. If you're trying to say it's oppressive or totalitarian, I didn't for, say like, that. I'm asking. To you've a, never been to a country where they limit certain websites. I mean, I'm in America, and they limit OnlyFans. When I was in my lobbying firm in the government buildings, I'd be at the Capitol and OnlyFans.com. I couldn't go on, on the Wi-Fi. So yes. that's the employer's Wi-Fi that they own as a private employer or as government. Yeah, it doesn't right? fall under the yes, category that, of limiting no, it under Wi-Fi. No, because what I'm speaking of is so, for example, you have a parent that's Saudi. You've never been to Saudi, I trust. Mm -hmm. You have not? I have not. Okay. Somewhere to check out. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so in Saudi, if you were to type in OnlyFans.com, nothing. Mm -hmm. Any pornography website, nothing. On your personal device, you'd have to get a VPN, which is a bit of a dangerous affair. I wouldn't want to be caught with one in Saudi. And there are various other places that have that. Those nation states that limit what people can do, also known as limiting their freedoms, those are generally viewed as oppressive regimes. Would you agree? Yeah, that's not what I'm advocating for. I'm more okay. so talking about like within the school system, school Wi-Fi would limit certain websites you can okay. go on, as well as create punishments if students were to like proliferate like deep fake porn of their teachers so let's say we'll stay away from deep fake because i agree with you that deep fakes in general are problematic and mm -hmm. so sticking on the simple thing as it as if you had a teacher who is formally or currently, currently in only fans i think that's fine so long as they're not mentioning their content yeah within school grounds or to their students so if you when you say mentioning it so say you're my teacher and then i go to lunch and i'm hanging out with my buddy here and i say bruh um mrs uh you said khalidi is that your actual government name or is that like your stage name? No, it's my name. Your your true legal government name is Farha Khalidi. Yeah. Wow. You're a brave one. Shout out to you. I like the realness. Anyway, so um, I'm at lunch with the homie and I'm like, bruh, she didn't just release some new content last night, bruh. Look at that. I didn't know she was that flexible. She must have a background in gymnastics and the monk is fat. Oh my God. Take a look. But we're at lunch. We're on our own time, you know, our own social time. Mm -hmm. So we look at that. Um, and then we come back to whatever your class is and then we carry on, but we don't bring it out during the course. We're theoretically trying to focus. Yeah. I think that kind of culture should be stomped down by like school administration. Likewise, same way guys will pass around nudes of their girlfriends to their friends. That's I think that should also be stomped weird. down. That's strange. So you're saying it's stomped down culture. 
Yeah. So like differentiate for me, and I know you're in lobbying, so differentiate for me. So there's culture, which cannot be controlled by law or policy. It might be influenced, but it cannot be controlled. Then there's law and policy where you can control things. Like, for example, you could say we want to frown on people bleaching their hair blue. We frown on it. So if someone does it, we might insult them, but then you can legislate. I'm saying within school grounds, if students are showing uh, like nudes of their girlfriends, their friends are passing around nudes or showing their teachers only fans on school Uh grounds. I think that should not just be frowned upon, but there should probably be some sort of repercussion. Because it's pornographic or because it's their teacher? I think because it's pornographic, likewise, again, it could be their peer. And I think that should be. Okay. So let's just say it's pornographic, but it's not their teacher and it's not a girlfriend or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, I think that. you shouldn't be showing porn in general at school grounds, even if it's like Lana Rhodes porn that you're pulling okay. up at lunch. I think most people would at agree lunch. with that. Yeah. And it, it, why is that? Is pornography bad? Um, no, I don't think it's bad necessarily, but I think it's about creating certain environments. Same way I think at work, I would be totally inappropriate mm-hmm. for a coworker to show me porn. Okay, so if you're not at work, if you're at school on your social time with your friends and you and your friends both are consenting and completely fine with it and happy with it, is it okay to no same way it, same way it's still wrong even though sex in itself isn't bad you're not supposed to be having sex on school grounds even mm-hmm. if two parties consent like students should not be having sex on campus mm-hmm. can I cut in with yeah in, in, a, in a sec yeah absolutely uh, on this topic. Uh, I went on FletchApp.com. Okay, it just told me how to cancel Hulu on Roku. I'm really okay. trying to find your app. Fair I can't enough. find it. Okay. So with regards to this one, sex on campus, we see that there's like clearly reasons that it's not a Yeah, but I guess my cause... point is you were saying because I don't want it on school grounds. That means I'm deeming it immoral or something that's not good. And I'm saying that's well, not yeah, the I'm, case. Yeah, I am trying to explore that. Like yeah. saying like what's wrong. Because like, for example objectively we can say if people were having sex at school yeah, then, so i guess i was just I more say pushing that. back to you saying because i would advocate against pornography being consumed on campus that means i think pornography is wrong and i'm saying that's yeah, not true sure. because yeah. sex isn't objectively wrong but it shouldn't be happening on school campuses. yes i agree with you yeah. sex is not objectively wrong but it's not hygienic to occur on school grounds i think it's more than just the hygiene that people have an opposition to high schoolers having sex in the bathroom sure yeah. sure but staying on the topic of actual pornography being consumed on site what exactly is the reason that we cannot have pornography consumed on the school site if it's just not bad because it is ap- actually it's just content so s- unlike sex when you say like well what is a a true parallel to sex the sex act it's hard to think of a proper mm-hmm. analog right or a parallel but when you consider just watching sex on your phone it actually is the exact same human visual and physical experience of me just like saying hey look at this this football clip the same as we could be looking at your only fans and take no additional action just we watch the football we don't do anything we sit here hold the phone we watch your only fans we sit here and hold the phone so what is bad then about watching your pornography on the school campus I, I, I don't agree with the premise that just because it's being consumed on a phone that it's parallel to watching sports on your phone. Like I don't. It's being consumed in the exact same way. So what is the bad outcome, the specific bad action that makes it non-permissible at school if pornography itself is not inherently bad? I think it's just about creating a school culture in which people don't feel uncomfortable or sexually uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, but the two persons consuming it were very comfortable. So I just, I identified the scenario. Okay, so this one boy, two boy, they're both consenting. It's not about whether they're you. comfortable. Same way of like a boy and girl, we're like, hey, let's go into the backyard in, and I'm going to look at In the scenario that I described, what's the problem with this scenario? Where, where's the problem? The problem is that typically on a school, in a school culture, we don't want it to be overly sexualized, regardless if the parties consent to it or are comfortable with it. So we're talking Same about, way, again, if two what's students want to go the fuck pornography. in the backyard on their campus, that's typically frowned upon. I, I'm feeling challenged because you've not established what is actually wrong. I have. I said it's about, watching. it's about you separating keep a sexual her, culture. Like for comfort, yeah. but there's no comfort. But, yeah, but no, I'm quick, just trying to find your, can you, can, can you establish? <laughs> yeah, I have. 10 times i can say it again okay. it's the fact that you don't want an oversexed school culture for minors whether it's so pornography or whether it's the people two like individual, each other on the courtyard you keep going on to other things and the, no, the challenge I'm, I'm saying it, the, the challenge that i'm having the in the debate is, the is sexual, that the over sexualization the challenge i'm having with the debate is every time we we get you on one place you move the goal post so if we're talking about you asked what was the problem with if we're pornography, talking about speci- and I if said we're the talking problem specifically with pornography on campus is the exact same problem with two students having sex on campus or even and i already explained how to a guy on it's campus. actually watching pornography on your phone between two boys is more similar to watching any content 
content on your phone than it is to a physical act of sex, which has huge implications such as procreation, STD exchange. Those are huge implications. Whereas no, watching a piece, one second, love, watching a piece of content on your phone with you and your buddy, it does not create a culture. Two individuals do not constitute a culture. So all I'm asking you is what is the specific reason, not related to other things, but specifically related to the consumption of your OnlyFans by two boys during their their free time during lunch. What is the specific wrong in that? My answer is congruent. I said that you shouldn't combine over sexualization with a school culture of minors. I don't know why you brought up STDs and hygiene, even if all the I'm students were tested and it was you're lesbians so that they're not getting like procreating. I still don't think lesbian, like high school lesbians. You're, you're still running away from the actual topic. It's no, no, the inability the to focus. Was, what is the issue? So I'm asking no, specifically what's wrong with that, with that? What's wrong with them consuming that content? It's the fact that you don't want a, a school culture of minors to be over. In Do two persons constitute a culture? Yes. I just want to make sure we're, we're if understanding. You, morally you said it, two individuals engaging in a behavior constitutes a culture. If you're asking me to morally permit it, yes, because then you're saying I should also then condone it at large scale, which means another two students at another. I'll give you an example. I went to a large. I went to a large high school in Los Angeles, uh, mostly black and Mexican, and there were a couple kids who were emo and punk rockers. And if you say, what was the culture of the school? You'd have to say that the culture of the school is overwhelmingly urban hip hop. Even though there's two emo punk rockers, they don't constitute a culture because they're a very much so a minority and their actions and their preferences are in the minority and they're not influencing anyone at significant okay, let's scale. Remove, it seems like you're stuck on this word culture. Well, I'm just stuck on the fact that you lied. I lied. Yes, you said two individuals constitute a You're culture. That's if I an exaggeration. If I permit it, then I'm condoning it at scale for any two individuals at that school to partake in it, which then, yes, has to do with culture of the school. Because if I permit it for those two students at the table, then and when I permit it for another two students, so you take away you take away students, the freedoms of an individual because of you don't those, want the is teacher that, is to that be hindering their freedoms to say you can't watch porn at school. Their freedom is to. Do what they wish on their personal think, device during their free time. It's not free time. You're within school hours. I don't think people should be No, engaging. during the lunch okay. hour, it is free time. In fact, there are many schools, probably maybe some of the ones you, you attended, they you the, even allow the kids to I'll go off campus. I'll give you the campus. moral axiom for it. I don't think people should be Moral? Minors. So you're about to tell us some morality. This is good. I don't good. think people should be um, engaging with sexual acts. Sexual acts? Campus. It's not an act. They're consider, watching a phone. I consider consuming pornography engaging. An with, act? I do. So if I'm watching football on my phone, that's an act? That's very yes. passive. It's almost the opposite of an act. You're doing nothing. You're sitting. That's semantics. I think most people would agree that watching pornography is a sexual act. It stimulates awesome. your mind in a sexual way. Okay. And act doesn't mean you're physically moving your body. I'm still just trying to it figure out what the, the bad is in this. And I'm trying, I'm, I'm on your side as an OnlyFans creator, but it seems as though you feel like inherently there's something bad such well, that we have to remove What would be the bad this. in like a student jerking off in the library starting oh, another gosh. girl? Is that a culture if it's one student? I think you'd also okay. be opposed uh, to Shouts to Zachary comes in by a PayPal. He writes, tuition, peace to the saints, finally caught alive. Destigmatizing sex work is the reason the West is in decay. These guests are prime examples. Also, 99.95% of men do not pass nudes of their girlfriends around. I know it's they pick the strangest, most bizarre examples. That's absolutely absurd. Like, and you clearly don't understand men. They do understand jack off artists, though. I can tell you that. They they get those. Did guys. I ever claim it was a I don't get what you're Mod at. Inc. writes, peace to the saints. Girl thinks speaking in quantity is equivalent to speaking with quality. You ain't Girl never lied. You ain't but never okay, lied. I just really there's Fletch and Hobby Buddy. I can't find any evidence of you either ain't one. Ain't never lied. So Is I would that, love to know what your apps are. You but we can ain't move on. never I just wanna, lied. Clear for the audience. There's no. Did evidence. you find that four thousand dollars scam? No, but I okay, can't find your apps. Okay, keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. You lied. Keep Why'd looking. You lie? Anyways, carrying on. All so right, we'll leave it there. We can move on, but you yeah, are. Yeah, when you find that four thousand dollars scam you mentioned, let us know. Company you've ever created. Please stop. You have not created an app. You That's try it. too hard. You try too hard. Anyways. You try too little to make so, it happen because you didn't. <laughs> how much money is enough to stop doing OnlyFans? And and I'll actually I had asked you a question and I think I and I didn't come back to you. I do I do want to ask you the same question. You, but okay. What we was can the move on. No, what was the question I, I had asked you initially? Because I did want to ask the you. The daughter. Yeah. Yeah. How would you feel if your daughter did that? Because I, I, I don't would, I do want to hear the, you. Out. 
the thing I want for my child, my p- potential future hypothetical child, do you plan on having them? Kids? No, not right now. If but I, in did, general, you oh, do. do I? Um, maybe when I'm 36. Okay, all right, go on. Then I'm so it's like seven years from now. But I would want my child to be happy, healthy, mm-hmm. and you know, financially well. As if if she can do OnlyFans with the mindset I ha- I'm doing it with, I would 100 percent be fine with it. If she's fine being a teacher, I, I'd be fine with her being a teacher. So you wouldn't prohibit it at any level? No, I would. Okay. I just want my kid to be happy and healthy. I figured as much would be the answer for both of you two. These are questions that the fans sent in. I, I figured you don't have any major qualms about it, which is why you do it and promote it. I mean, there's some people who do it in quiet, right? So I yeah. figured as much. Okay. Um, how much is enough money? We'll start with you on this one. How much is enough money for you to stop doing OnlyFans? Even if I made if I could retire at this moment, I would probably still do it because I like it. So you, you're you passionate about the work. I like to do some kind of work and I like going live and like talking to people. I like my fan base. I like taking hot pictures. So yeah, as long as people want to see them, I do it. Okay. So if you had a billion bucks, you would continue doing the exact same type of content? I think about content? that sometimes. Like I think about if I made a billion bucks right now, would I shut down my page? No, because I've had connections with my fans and I like them. Sure. But you'd continue doing the same kind of content or would there be changes to the nature um, of the I probably like wouldn't because right now it's like, okay, I need to like, if I want to take two months off, that could like, but if I had unlimited money, then maybe I would take more breaks or like do things like I'm not. So the to... content, the nature of the content would not change at no, all. I like doing porn. Go check it out. Okay. I'm just going to say this one more time just to make sure the nature of the content itself. Maybe you might take breaks, but you'd continue all the videos you have now that you're doing, you'd still do those exact same kind. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I mean, obviously, if you offered me like a hundred million dollars to do OnlyFans, I'd probably pick the hundred mil oh, over OnlyFans. It's yeah. not over. It's not over. Oh, then it's I the would exact continue same. to do it. Similar to her, like I grew up in like a Muslim household, and I had a weird relationship with like clothing and sexuality and stuff. And I feel like mm-hmm. OnlyFans has helped me, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, express myself and figure so out. So your what answer I feel is the exact with. same as hers. Your position. Um, that I would continue to do it. Yeah. The exact same type of content. And I don't even know what you do. Do you do penetrative content on your OF? You just got to subscribe and find out. Okay, I hear you. Okay. (laughs) There you go. There's the plug. There's the plug. You have to subscribe and find out. Uh, And you said you grew up in a Muslim household. Um, I assume uh, Sunni Muslims? I honestly don't even know. I, I didn't okay, you did much. not grow up in a, a Sunni, or you did not grow up in a Muslim household. You may have grown up in a culture, an Islamic culture, an Arab culture. No, but... I grew up in a Muslim household. I went to. So you, you grew up in a Muslim household, but you don't know if you grew up in a Sunni Muslim household? Yeah, I don't know. That is a very basic thing in Islam. It's like, it's extraordinarily basic. It's like if I asked a boxer, you know, do you throw a jab? And they're like, what's a jab? It's it's that basic. It's fundamental. So it's impossible it's what you're saying. It's just not something I was so embroiled in the culture. It's not something we really talked about. Yes, so when but I got Muslim- older, people would ask me that. And I was like, I don't know. I could probably ask my parents or my friend, but like I was never that personally connected. But I went to masjid about like two to three times a week. So I was yeah, definitely. I, just, I don't think you're correct no, on this. No, a it's, lot of it's really quite hard to not know that term and to not know. She knew the term. Yeah, I think it's pretty common. Like with Christians, if I, think I they, might speak uninter- uninterrupted, I'd appreciate it. But it's very strange to not know that very fundamental term. Even most non-believers who are college educated as you are familiar with this term. And furthermore, the Muslims, those who are actually practicing, they pray five times a day. Oh, yeah, I was never, e- extraordinary yeah. levels of dedication. So to not know the, just the word, it would indicate that you did not grow up in a proper did you not Muslim know the household. Word? I, know, I know the word. Yeah. I'm saying like I personally never believed in Islam. I never Clear, cared Clearly, about clearly. Yeah, but I 100% grew up in a Muslim household. So it's like a random thing to you believe. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have two older brothers. Two older brothers. How do they feel about your work? Um, they're very supportive. They watch a lot of my debates. And- I thought you were about to say they watch a lot of my content. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I was about to be like, no, Lord, no. Oh, God. Okay, so they like your non-sexual content. Yeah, I think they think it's cool. Okay, have they ever watched your OF? Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. That's you know a, how Muslims that's a good, are. That's a good question. I, they like to they're human them. beings. They're yeah. human beings, yeah. Um, okay, so not to your knowledge. How would you feel if your brothers were watching your content? Mm, I'd probably repress that feeling and pretend I didn't know. Okay. Well, what, what would the feeling be? It, it'd be such a alien discovery that I would, I'd probably feel nothing because my body would want to repress the possible trauma. It'd be tra- traumatic. Why is that? Um, probably for the same reason that I wouldn't have sex with my brothers. I'm, I'm not assuming anything with you because I think our, 
our value systems are so far apart that mm -hmm. it's not reasonable for me to assume. And furthermore, I think the audience wants to hear from you. And despite, you know, we, we go back and have some, you know, some uh, debate. I do want to hear out you because I personally don't have any friends or relatives that are OnlyFans people. So you do introduce a very new perspective to me and the audience as well. So I, I'd love for you to elaborate. About why I would feel like it's potentially traumatizing if I was aware of the fact my brothers are like zealously consuming my OnlyFans content. Yes. Um, because that would probably border on incestuous. And incest is bad. Um, I think incest would give me a gross visceral reaction. Okay. Even morals aside. Do you think incest is bad? Um, generally, yes. Okay. All right. Now, them watching your OnlyFans content and masturbating, watching their sister is actually not incest. Is that bad? That's why I said like it would border on incestuous and it has more to do with like the visceral feeling I would get from it than like a natural of, like, sense of wrong. Is that what you're saying? I don't even know if I would use the word wrong. It's just gross. Same way, you know, I don't want to have sex with certain guys I don't want to have sex with. That doesn't mean it's wrong to do. It's more like So it's not wrong if your brother watches your OnlyFans and masturbates to it. It's not wrong. You just don't find your brother attractive. <laughs> sure, yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure that I understand. Okay. Very good. Uh would you be in the same position? Because I remember you had mentioned incest is not wrong. Well, this is the thing. You clearly use, I don't think you understand. There's a difference between, like, we're talking moral philosophy, which yeah. might be a little bit I'm over not talking. Your head. We're not talking about philosophy. Yeah, I'm so just if asking you're saying you. Because so you're what do you, not an so epistemologist. What do you mean by wrong? Well, you're clearly not. So what do you <laughs> yes. mean by wrong? No, you're correct. I'm not an epistemologist. So what do you mean I'm a by pragmatist. wrong? Like, what do you, can you define no, wrong? No, I'm asking, oh my, she said, can you define wrong? Can this you is define the word. Wrong? Can you define wrong? what I see you did with this her. This is amazing. What you did with it, her is you were trying to conflate. I'm not trying to define wrong. I'm asking you based on who you are yes. in your view, in your personal opinion, okay. according to you. Mm -hmm. So let me define wrong and then wrong go. So moral you. wrong, like morally not, We're not speaking objectively. Okay. We're just saying, do you find incest wrong? I get a natural disgust reflex, but okay. that doesn't mean it's wrong. Like I get a disgust yes. right. reflex from you. I hear you. Wrong. But do you find incest wrong was the actual question. I get a disgust reflex from it, but that doesn't mean it's morally wrong wrong i know this is maybe a little bit too much for you but that's why i asked you to define your you're term. you're like a bad politician you're kamala harris sure you're, you're kamala but, harris I mean, I, I <laughs> we got a go white kamala harris head. over here god damn we'll it we, I mean, it's we very, got a kamala harris it's very popular in muslim culture for first cousins to marry so do you more it's actually not that? popular it is permissible and it does occur but popular is would be wrong? an exaggeration you consider that like, morally wrong? Consider that wrong if there's no genetic issue i would not consider it to be wrong no Okay, so the moral problem with incest is just the genetic component. That's it. I'm not arguing morality because I don't think either of you have morality. So I'm not trying to persuade you or to go back and forth. Your own yeah. But morals. what I am trying to understand is what your beliefs are, because at some level I'm interviewing you. We might debate on some things, but I'm sincerely interested to go inside of your minds. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not trying to establish what my beliefs are, because in this case, I think my beliefs are commonplace, whereas yours are more interesting because, you know, I she's cool don't. with incest. I don't think yours are commonplace because yeah, you're, common you're, you're only morally condemning incest for the genetic component and i think most people would morally condemn it even if they could do a test and realize this brother and sister could have genetically fine kids i think most people, people would yeah. still disavow it it's a visceral like she said it's a visceral yes. reaction that we get for good evolutionary reasons but the whole point of people who can think a little bit better than you can is okay if we <laughs> remove those things is it then still wrong exactly and you're not having a discussion at that i level, don't think and anyone is your audience, which is fine i don't think That's anyone the on the planet earth better. ever listens to a sex worker for advice Opinion. on morality uh, like you said they're not detected. coming they're not coming so from my body so similarly like you're sitting here, yeah. similarly similarly no one listens to criminals on how to you know live an upright life that's actually this? not true they so, have a lot of ted talks about how they turn so their life around. that's good that's very good People click on that because it's ridiculous, right? Like a former so bank you, robber talks about how you had to change. But you don't have to be so to. sensitive. I'm just telling you, I, I think I, you guys are morally I have not been sensitive, moral but you're degenerates. You don't have yeah. to be. You don't have to be so sensitive about it. So am I sensitive about her? You're the more sensitive one because you've been mad since the beginning. Well, since really, since you I were unable, you made a you claim, you made, made a lie, and you wouldn't you explain it, no, and then you got I, mad because you wouldn't lied, give evidence. But I wanted, you never answered the question. You what's got your IP? mad because you couldn't. What's be, your IP? You got very what's your angry. What's your IP? Wait, so do you think Anyways. incest is okay if they could have like particularly healthy children? Like, what if they found out actually if these particular siblings had a kid, it'd be more genetically healthy, and the kid would cure cancer? <laughs> then is it wrong? 
These are just too high level for him. Let's just calm down. Go back right, to right, asking right, our body right. counts. Yeah, this is- <laughs> watch this. Where'd you go to college? I can't, I can't I like say. What's your What's your real name? I can't say. What's You're a phony your IP? Person. That's secret too. You're a phony person. No one <laughs> respects you. His IP you. is secret. Phony- his tangible. She uses her tangible, real name, but you won't use your real name because you're a You're a phony person. You're a phony person. Okay, then all sex all the time. You are a phony individual. Nobody usually hides their company. Nobody usually hides their IP. We you all caught know up what on the Mark super Zuckerberg chats. Zuckerberg has done. We all know what Elon Musk has done. No one knows you, what you've One done. second, love. You you caught up on the chats? Uh, we have some shout outs for Go ahead. some tuitions. We have King Florio. Uh, Farah, you keep repeating the premise within your reason, not answering. He asked you what's wrong with porn. Then you reply with it's over sexualizing, which isn't answering the question. Exactly. Can I address it? Are we going to let her address it? Uh, no, let's just okay. go. Let's go through real quick and, and we'll come back to you. We'll okay. come back. Yeah. Say? Salvador, yeah. Dor- Dorlia, Marquette, I respect you, but condoning the consumption of porn at school by minors as freedom is a fat L. Um, school Bro, be- you are low IQ. No one condone the consumption of pornography at school. These are called hypotheticals to explore a logical idea. Don't be a fool. I always speak consistently against the consumption of alcohol, the consumption of all intoxicants, including coffee and sugar. And I also speak against the consumption of pornography. Don't be a fool. You damn near got blocked. Go ahead. Showtime. Uh, I'm 25 minutes behind. How do you come on to someone's show with no evidence of the accusations you claim? It's shows. Crazy. How do you make a show and based on a lie? That keep you going. Keep going. Shows don't, don't all know. they are here for is clout. I hope no one is that in in this chat would be dumb enough to sub to these 304s. They will. Oof. Oof. And you know what? I don't know because I don't have an OnlyFans. I'm not in your position. Only you know. But You're as also a, not in the position of running a company, I hear you. An IP. As a business person, I can only presume. You're not a business person. One second. Where's the evidence? You're a business person. You're a very angry in the Where's video. The one evidence? second. You're you don't have to person. interrupt. You just look you interrupt unruly. Me. You just you look unruly. One you second. Look unruly. One, one sec, second. One sec, one sec. <laughs> you are crazy as hell. You gonna be What's single as hell. I feel like I'm gonna see your ass on the news at some point. Sure. You are, I mean, I want to see you your are ass on the news. I want to know you about are this so guy crazy. who like, created two companies. You are so crazy. It was, it was more than two, actually. You got to do better, you go, better I, Google. I went on Fletch. I can't download your app. I looked at Apple. You just talked about out. Apple Pay. Check this out real quick. Talking about how to cancel subscriptions. On Did TV. you finish? Yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Go to his pages, Give me guys. A Tell me where this app is. Why are you so it? angry? Like because the anger like you you're harbor. Lying. I don't. I like think liars. I. I think I touched your heart with the truth, and you realize that, that people I, can see that you're nothing, and that oh, bothers okay. you. Yeah. Well, because your whole goal is to feel important. Yeah, your whole definitely. goal is to feel important and have people look no, well upon you. That's why you have all the fake things. That's why you have all the fake things. Not fake money. Well, then why would you be here? Because Unless there's some money. Because the simps in your audience are going to subscribe ah, to me. Ah, I see. That's why. I see. Yeah. Uh, to uh, make money. So you're here to make money. Yeah, because I want real money. I don't right. want fake money. Now, you know the funny thing about someone like you? Do you know what it is? What? The, well, I know the funny thing about you. Can I talk? Uh, like, can I say that? that no, you because made every a, you time we ask you to explain something, you don't explain because you're just lying. Well, you're you a liar. Ex- you're literally gone viral multiple times for not answering you're a liar. basic questions about who you're you still are, making up what things. an NFT is, you're what still your app is, things. what your IP is. Tell you're me so this proud of real quick. Just, I'm going to give you one chance. Tell the truth. No, I'm going to give you Tell one chance. What's your IP? What is the $4,000 scam? What's the $4,000 scam? What's the four thousand dollars scan? These girls are bad. Anyways, Keandre writes, "Peace of Saints." I've been focused on building my business. Deleted Patreon, so I joined the Sassin.com. T H E S A S N dot com. We encourage you all to log in, boss up. Grateful for being able to meet the other saints in Texas. That's a beautiful thing. I'm in Austin. If anybody wants to train or work, and girls, the saint Marquette explains what he does on plenty of his videos. Uh huh. Also, have you read the article? I've about read, me in I Forbes. Just, I just Have you read about me in Forbes? Yeah, and then the first. Why'd you video, ignore that? Wait, wait. Video. Why didn't you bring that up? No. So the wait. Am I in Forbes? No. Am I in Forbes? No, you're not. There's you're a, a liar. Video. God, you literally you're a liar. Mark That's Forbes crazy. And you'll see That's how he crazy. Scams people into That's thinking insane. That. Let's play that video. That's insane. There's YouTubers exposing Damn, you're a liar. You on it That's already. insane. Hold What's on your IP? And girls, the Saint Marquette explains what he does plenty of times in his videos. And you know the amazing thing about a person like you? All you the do is you just about a person like you just you lie about you everything. Lie. You lie about you everything. You're, you're, you're broke. You're you don't broke. Don't Watch anything. this. I'm gonna do her. I'm gonna do her routine. You're broke. I can you're show broke. you that I'm not. Can you you're show broke. me you're not? Can you're you broke. Show me you're not? No, you're broke. Here. You scam somebody for thirteen thousand dollars. You, you, you scam somebody for thirteen thousand dollars. What's your IP? You scam somebody for thirteen thousand dollars. You're broke. I read a fake article. I read a fake article about you on the internet. I read that you're a top ten percent OnlyFans, but you're not. How do I download Fletch? How do I download Fletch? But you're not. 
Very good. Anyways, he's built many networks and foundations. He's a proper leader. Immature scumbag men are the only supplementation. And they'll probably Ted Bundy you in real life. Ooh, think, think about that next time. Stop acting like children and act like women. That's not going to happen. That is absolutely not going to happen. Slim chance. Robert writes, I like to point out that Jasmine is conducting research to support her false claims mid debate. I saw that it was a little bit tacky. No, I was conducting it was a bit research. tacky to be on your phone during the live session, but I was like, because you're I'm already angry. I didn't want to get you mad. I went on your, uh, you, I didn't want to get you mad. It has 100 this suggests followers. That the, I went on the Fletch app. I clicked you, on technology. I clicked on about. I you're getting on, out of control, hey, Jasmine. Apple. Jasmine, listen, none of it's there. Listen, let me That's explain something to you. You're here for business. You're here on business. I realize you're an OnlyFans. I realize you're an OnlyFans dirt bag, but you're here on business. At least conduct yourself. A regular dirt bag. Dirt, dirt bag. bag. Dirt, dirt bag. bag. Are your lips too heavy? You inflated them too dirt much. Your bag. lips are too heavy. You can't talk. God damn. <laughs> now you're here on business. And I'm at least remember. Me, I'm at, at least remember that. And let me conduct the housekeeping items. And then when you want to go back and forth, we can do that. Stop. You're barely speaking English. You're too nervous. You keep business. stuttering. It you keep stuttering. Get her a speech pathologist. This suggests that she came unprepared. This is true. Even prepared though this debate what? was scheduled far in advance. We had no topic. She keeps interrupting. You're so angry. We had no topic. Can you calm down? We can do? tell you're mad because you keep interrupting. You're well, no, a raging I, animal honestly, right now. Calm down. You're a raging animal. You're raging. Well, then Just answer Just calm my down. Question. We're doing the housekeeping. Just calm down. Answer you're raging. Questions. You're raging. This suggests that she came unprepared, even though this debate was scheduled far in advance and is indicative of her unruly nature. I mean, unruly. Yeah, talk about it. Well, if you're Watch the video pertaining to the idea. Watched no. the video pertaining to the but idea that content is not good. And I agree with the sentiment here to show support. Shout out to Michael. He writes, would you consider pursuing a defamation case against these demons? Please, like please, molest please, will you please file a defamation suit against right, me? Please. Do, do you, I, I think it'd be great for content, great you, for my business. I'm here for business. Okay. I would love a defamation suit. Okay. Are you calm now? No, I want that. All right. I, please Jesus follow up Christ. on that. I really this want that. Insane. Would you consider pursuing a defamation case against these demons like molestiny, Sodom 22, and this harlot uh, for their slanderous claims. Yes, please. Honestly, it's too many people. That's that's a sad thing. It, it's just too many people. Just it's not pick a good me. use of time. Pick me. She is a sue pick me. me. She sue is me. a pick me. Yes. Yeah, that's pick her me whole to life sue. is pick based me on to that. Sue because I would you love, would easily win I because there's no suit. proof and you'd essentially be taking money, disempowering these demons and empowering the assassin movement. Peace of saints. We won't say it'll never happen. No, let's see it. I want to see this too because it would happen. tell me what you've done and what I defamed you on because I can't find it anywhere else. That's why you make it up because <laughs> you are lying. Well, that's what, no. Bodic writes, Jafar is a lawyer. She's not a lawyer. She's nobody. Free her <laughs> clients. I know they ain't do it. <laughs> she's just a bad communicator and debater that she, uh, she gets innocent clients locked up. I wouldn't be shocked at all. Did you ever practice law? Yep. For how many years? Only seven months. I mean, seven I still months. Have my Got you. You're not active. a lawyer. Stop it. You You're practice law for seven months. Please stop it. What that Please stop say? it. Shout to Joseph. He writes, Boxer. your patience and diligence are unmatched. Austin writes, oh, Austin writes, that's deep. Anyways, can we get a 360 drip cam? They're asking if they can see you all in 360. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Let's get the best camera for that one. It might be this, oh this shot, this wide shot. You're on the white shop. Cool. All right, we're on the white shop. Cool. Let's see how how she looks. Is that giving them? Is that giving them at least the neck to the knees? Yeah. Brilliant. I can't do it today. She is suffering from some kind of ailment. I have some guesses on what it is, but I'm gonna pray for you, sis. I'm gonna pray for you in a real way. Uh, you do look a, a bit. Um, have you always had this emaciated look, or is this the sickness? <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've always looked anorexic. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Nah, that's cool. I think there is an appeal there for sure. That's awesome. What did you say? It's globally unattractive to me. If something's that's globally unattractive, how can it be globally unattractive to you? You can only speak for yourself, not the globe. Jasper writes, oh, you don't understand English. You cheated in law school. I swear you no, cheated because you don't understand English. You don't know what globally me. unattractive means. What is globally unattractive? Wow, you said explain not it. the globe. Explain this girl's no, dumb. This girl's explain dumb. It. Hell no. Nah. Give me my zoom in camera. It. Hit okay, me with the camera. It. This bitch explain is dumb. Listen to me. Explain I said it. you're globally unattractive, which means wholly 
in the full sense, in well, every sense. And then out. you said, how can you speak for everyone on well, the globe? You're dumb. You don't know English. You're, you're dumb. You have a low IQ. It's been proven. You're out of here. You. Strike three. You're out of here. She doesn't understand basic okay, English. Jesus Christ. What's your first language? What's what else? What's your first Farsi language? Farsi and then English. Okay, Farsi was so your first I language? Are you better in Farsi? Meanings. Keep it Global real. Has Are you better in... Global has multiple global meanings. Has multiple meanings. Yes, That's how does. I got confused. No, global has multiple confused. meanings. That's why I was confused. Your ass is dumb, shorty. That's all there is. That's why you do OnlyFans. That's why you was a seven-month lawyer. You your ass was a seven-month lawyer because your ass couldn't hack it. Okay. That was your best opportunity. Cool. Cool. Stop Calm it. Down. Stop Calm it. Down. Stop You're it. You're here for business. You don't know what globally Calm means. You're here for business. You need to get your shit together before you start fucking with me. That's why you won't say what college you went to. Because you went to a, a bullshit ass college, like the 13th, 14th grade. Why won't you say what your IP is? Why won't you say what your IP is? Wow. Why won't you say what your IP is? Wowzer. That's crazy. What is your IP? You literally got confused when I was talking. What is your IP? That's amazing. Do you even understand what how the things IP? I'm saying? What is your IP? You got confused. All I want to know is your IP. That's amazing. You won't tell Shout us? out to Jasper. He writes, to both the slores, would you date slash marry a man who is an avid, ad? do you know what that means, avid? Yeah, do you know what IP is? Do you know what avid means? Would you date slash marry a man who is an avid consumer of your OnlyFans content? If you wouldn't, please explain why. That's actually a really good question. I like how you formulated that. I wouldn't have even thought of that. We will start with you. What's the question? If I'll repeat that, slow brain. Jasper writes, to both of the slores, would you date okay, slash marry? Okay, we get it, we get it. You don't need to, you, right. you're, you're not very good at it. All right, this. go yeah, ahead. Okay. Um, yes, I would. Why you lied? <laughs> Everybody in the background was like, bruh, stop it. Yeah, obviously this background, they all look homeless it. just if you can't see them. <laughs> Bruh, stop it. <laughs> they all look ghetto and homeless, but okay. Oh, damn. You said everybody out here looks ghetto and homeless? That's how I think. And I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. Okay. But anyways. I'm just tripping. Like, you're insulting people, and you're over you here. called her ugly. <laughs> what were we talking about you? Right we talking away. about you. We talking about you. She ain't clapped at nobody. She's but staying chill. But we talking about you. That's you what I like about y'all. You never real No, she's not globally ugly. You too stupid. I said she's globally not unappealing attractive. to me. To me, but here's the thing: you don't care what I think about your attractiveness, correct? Not really. Thank you. So it's irrelevant. You need care? to learn English. You need to learn English. Their, do they care? But here's do the thing: care? this is how we know you're a dirtbag. I'll tell you how we know you're a dirtbag. These folks have nothing to do. This is all people that well, have nothing to do with this. Laugh, you're insulting. You're insulting random people. I'm talking to you two because we're on a show together. Everyone laughs. You're a dirtbag. Okay. You're a dirtbag. Anyways. Um, so you lied and claimed that you would date and marry a man who uh, consumes your OnlyFans content. You're yeah. trying to make them feel like they're they're well, good if guys. You're gonna ask me a nice. question and not believe my answer. Okay. Go ahead. I would find that so hot. I literally put like little <laughs> heart icons. I like you. Y'all be marketing y'all ass off. No, go ahead, literally, baby. Like when I go through messages, if someone has like an extra cute profile picture uh -huh. and they get, I get their Instagram. And I think they're cute. I'll put a uh -huh. heart next. To their That's name. awesome. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this, ladies and saints. Have you ever? Wait, how long have you been on OnlyFans? Since 2021. 2021. How long have you been on OnlyFans? Since j probably July or August of okay, 2021. So you want to calculate years, number of years? Well, I mean, now we're what? In February of 2020. Damn, she having trouble with math too. First it was English, so now it's like math. Two... Great. Uh, let's just round it up to three years. Fantastic. In your three years on OnlyFans, have you ever dated someone who, who you met as an OnlyFans consumer? I've never dated anyone in three years. So what am I supposed to... Have you ever slept with anyone who started off as an OnlyFans consumer of yours? Actually, yeah. You have? Yeah. How much do you pay you? No, nothing. Girl, quit lying. <laughs> quit lying. Yeah, Chat, if you believe that, God damn it, I got a bridge to sell you. Amazing. Have you ever um, dated anyone who's consumed your OnlyFans? That's how you met them. Um, no, but OnlyFans does put restrictions on like planning meetups with subs. You keep yeah, that has nothing to do words. with it though, because we both know that's not going to stop you if you want it to. So your answer is no, I have not. Understood. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Carrying on. Shout out to T. He writes, mentally fine after OnlyFans. Laugh my ass off. Time will teach. Amazing. Carrying on. May I acknowledge Zachary writes, I'll do it. I'll ask. Jasmine, I think he's talking to you. Please, I gotta tell you because you slow out yeah, here. Smart boy. Please define. Oh shit, he really did it. Oh, he ain't sent enough money to ask this damn question. Here we go. 
Please define right and should I read the whole thing or just read the part that has a question and then give you the rest? Well, I think that I'll answer whatever question it is if okay. you answer what your IP Got is. Got you. So I'll do it. I'll ask, Jasmine, please define right and wrong objectively. You are unraveling the fabric of society by arguing for subjective right and wrong versus objective right and wrong. Is pedophilia right or wrong? So if please wanna... don't fail this test. Still define right and wrong. So oh, you, and don't go... use right or wrong as you define them. So if we're going to go into a discussion about objective morality, which will go over the head of you as well as all of your audience, I'm ready for it. But do you want to do that? You barely no, understand English. No, just question. try to answer this no, question. No, 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 no. Do you want me to go into it? Do you want to do a thing about objective or subjective We're on the full morality? view right now, right? Do you want Fantastic. objective or... Do you no, you're just going to answer this question briefly. He just, he had a quick question, which is... So you're asking my personal belief on objective morality? Zachary is writing Do you want to go through this or is not? Is pedophilia yes or no? right or wrong? Do you That's go the first question. Yes or no? That's do the first thing that has a question mark. Is pedophilia right or wrong? That's a yes or no question. I will answer that after you answer the IP question. This is a no, question from is, Zachary. Well, this is a question from me to you. Okay, you don't you don't want to answer the question. That's fine. You don't have to. That's fine. Just like you don't Carrying have to on. answer about your Shout IP. Shout to Abadik. So he writes, of. Madam Emaciation, damn. Madam Emaciation is rethinking her alliance with the Cheddar Bob lawyer. <laughs> Bruh, I'm Cheddar telling Bob, you. Cheddar Bob. Um, he's basically saying she talks like the, the, the trainer off of Waterboy. Did right. you ever see that movie Waterboy? The trainer yeah. from uh, Mississippi. He'd be like, Hum hala wanna bang. That's kind of how she oh, okay. she's out here okay. with her English. It's bad. God okay. damn. God damn. Did they disbar you? Did you ever pass the bar? Yes, in order to be you a did? licensed okay, attorney, fantastic. I pass the bar. I know that's probably Did you pay someone to do it or, or you actually did it? No, just like I didn't pay fake You don't even know what global. You don't even know what global means. I that's do. bad. You want to pull it up? Let's look up the that's definition. That's bad. Look up baby. global. Let's pull Are it you up. caught up with the super chats? Uh, we have a baller alert. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. By the way, support the work. Sh sh support the fact that I'm Should dealing with support? this broad. Sh support support the fact support? that I'm dealing with these broads. Because Lord knows when I asked you guys, if you were make, you had a billion dollars, would you keep doing this? And you guys were both like, yeah, I'm passionate about being a slur. I'm a da -da -da -da, super thought. I'm passionate. In my case, I'm talking to you all because the audience will tune in more to watch bimbos like you. And so we're I, helping your I, business. We did a we're, tangible yes, thing, Farha. Yes, you <laughs> did. You did thing. actually. Okay. Yes. So then why in after fact, that? What's your tangible in thing? In fact, the, <laughs> we're, we're both <laughs> using one, one second. You're not funny, but one second. <laughs> we're, we're both using one another, which is to say, like, if it we're wasn't for this, I would never talk to you all. Like, never. I don't even no, want to be around you, right? So. That's because you're beneath me. But anyways, the point is this. If I had a billion dollars, I would just put it into marketing to spread my message. I wouldn't have to utilize persons like you guys. You need you better guys. marketing because it's not believable. You know, my marketing, made, no, my marketing is not very IP. good. You my need marketing. better marketing. No, you're right. I do need yeah, better, better marketing. Better, way better I agree marketing with you there. so that there's I agree some with you there. legitimate evidence of his IP. I agree with you. I do need yeah, better yeah. marketing. That is that is smart thing. Hit me. Mama's question. What did I walk into? I just got off work. Am I hearing them sit, trying to condone incest? What is going on here? GC um donation if i subscribe to jasmine oh, only fan am i still a saint bro those boobs are fat um, no bro if that's how you feel that's who you actually are you know like my work is not to uh take anyone away from who they are there are wicked persons among us and then there are the persons in the middle who are you know without knowledge and they just need to be able to learn difference between good and bad you know, learn what will happen in the long term if you engage in certain behaviors. But if that's how you feel, brethren, do what you do, baby. Sarti's third element, big homie. Shout out to Sarti. Appreciate you. You all caught up? Yep. Fantastic. There was one part of uh, a question I'd asked earlier that I didn't finish. And I do want to honor uh, what the fans are asking you guys, because surely I couldn't answer any of these questions. You guys have a unique experience. And they had said, if your daughters were to do OnlyFans, and I don't actually necessarily agree with how this is formulated, but if your daughters were to do OnlyFans, do you realize that you are leading them toward the following things, single motherhood, sexual assault, and harassment? Where does sexual assault fall into this category? I did not write any this evidence question. of OnlyFans increasing your likelihood of sexual assault? So your answers are no. You do not believe that you're leading them toward that if, if they were to follow your footsteps in this Well, I work. think our answer was more so in alignment with where the culture goes. So if the culture was more harsh towards sex workers in the future, then we'd want to mm -hmm. advise our daughters to go somewhere where they'd have a happier, healthier life. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean? If it yeah. worked out. Where do you fine. feel the culture is presently with regards to OnlyFans girls? I think only it's in, definitely girls. in like a transitory period. Transition. Yeah. Fair enough. 
And do you think that in the United States in particular, because obviously in different countries, it's radically different, right? Mm -hmm. Like in one of your parents' country, we could get you strung up for this, right? We can get you in prison for this kind of thing, right? Um, but in America in particular, where do you think it will be in 10 years? Do you think you as a sex worker will be in a better position or a less advantageous position culturally? Better. I think financially it will be worse off in that the market will be more saturated. So I think right. it'll become kind of like the, the way the influencer economy is right now. Like everyone wants a slice yeah. in terms of social stigmatization. I think there'll be basically virtually none. Yeah, yes. I agree with that. That makes sense. And you know what? You um, you don't always answer the question, but you, you say things that are reasonably insightful. And I do appreciate that. I really do. Um, and also you're, you're tough and you know, you don't get so bitchy like this one, but it's oh, a good balance. I'm sorry I it's a good you. balance. We I'm got bad cop, good cop. I'm trying to trigger you. We got you. bad cop, good cop. <laughs> or maybe we got bad cop, racist cop. You feel me? Because I don't know about good cop. We got bad cop, oh, racist I cop. Oh, because I called them ghetto? No, I don't think you're racist. I'm just saying like it's one one step worse. You're okay. you're having trouble following like on. You do police it's okay. Brutality, he Thank you. Thank I'm you, sorry. baby. I said she was the smarter one, right? We got Tweedledee and Tweedledum right here. God damn it. No, I'm <laughs> the hot one and she's the smart one. Oh, okay. goodness. Well, you said you're the what? You said that you you were selling her unattractive. So is that, am I just attractive? You said you were attractive. I mean, you didn't call got me him. <laughs> Got him. Who said you were attractive? You knock it off. Baby, knock it off. Please, please. You're, you're being silly. Focus on my lips. That's all you me. You. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fuck you crazy. I'm having fun. You crazy it's as fun. hell. You know what the sad thing is? I actually believe that. That I'm having fun, yeah. That is the sad, we creepy really thing. really excited about that. No, honestly, the thing that I find extraordinary <laughs> about your type is that you go on a podcast, get embarrassed, obliterated, degraded, and you're like, hi, oh, it was a good day I work. feel the same way about you. That's insane. I feel the same way about you and like your insane. interaction I'm with like, multiple whoa. people on the internet. Same like, thing. wowzers. Likewise. Wowzers. Anyways, one thing I do want to ask that I, I think is actually interesting, and I am curious because even as a grown man, there's a number of weirdos every now and then that'll hop in DMs, death threats, and then various other weird sexual things, whether it's from females or males that I get as a man. And I imagine you all being actually in sex work, it just gets at even higher proportions. So do you have any stories or like, hey, like, so-and-so said this or did this, or this is a time I felt concerned. Take us into that, if you will. I haven't really had anything to. Yeah, I, haven't had I mean, I get like crazy it. DMs, but nothing past that. Yeah, like we probably both get death threats, but nothing that actually would like call Like the are. death threats are not even like coherent. Yeah. Like, <laughs> death threats. Probably after this. I feel like any know. woman regardless, just yeah. even like going on debates. You think these are from males generally or females or both? Males. Yeah. males. 100%. Yeah. Why do you think that they feel this? Like, like I don't condone what you do, but it would never cross my mind to actually hurt one of you. Uh, I think you guys are plenty hurt already. But why do you think that they go to that extreme? I think you? because of like the red pill discourse, they blame us for a lot of their downfalls. They you think, think that these people are motivated by the red pill to want to kill you? One thousand percent. Damn. Damn. Yeah, because they blame. You literally just said the West is falling because of OnlyFans. They literally think the culture is disintegrating. One of the super chats. Oh, okay. And I'm, and then they think that like they can't get a girlfriend because of us, that they can't like you know be a breadwinner because of yeah. us. Like all of society, there's is a bunch of studies Look. out about misogyny levels correlating to your perceived sexual market value in the wow. dating world. So these men, they want us, they can't have us, they don't have a lot else wow. going for them. So it turns into hate. I feel yeah. I, I don't blame them. I feel yeah, bad. Yeah, they're for pathetic. Them. They're yeah. pathetic. Wow. They have like revenge fantasies on us and stuff like, well, you guys are going to be miserable later when at least you're willing to admit wow. that we could go on and be perfectly fine with this life because the culture's on our side, money's on our side. Well, culture can be unpredictable. So that's one thing. That's why I asked you. I sincerely want to hear what you think as, a, as someone in this industry. Culture is fairly unpredictable. When has it gone in the past, let's say, 100 years? Has it become more conservative? In yes, it has. For example, let me introduce you to some history. Um, and uh, have you ever lived in the Bay Area, either of you? not live there okay yeah I, I used to live in the bay area for two reasons one i did berkeley undergrad and secondly i moved into san francisco afterward working for a tech company san francisco What's tech company? i know right it doesn't exist but san francisco as you guys know is one very affluent but two has a long history of activism and also various movements like the hippie movement and the sexual liberation movement and free love so free love and the free love movement that was a time of a great levels of sexual freedom and experimentation along with drugs as well and so this is you know we talk in 70s things like this so have we 
after the 70s, the 80s came and then you had the AIDS epidemic and that put a bookend on that sexual liberation. So have societies become more conservative? Absolutely. No, Even if you look at ancient you're wrong, Greece. You're wrong because you're talking about what people Stop are- Stop it. But yeah, go ahead. Let me tell you. So if you look at, we can pull this up. I don't okay. know if you have that sure. capability in the studio, but yeah. if you can pull up and you love with social attitudes towards things like casual sex, the graph clearly can you say goes- it again? I didn't hear the beginning part. Social attitudes. You, you, there's a word before that. If you look at social, if uh -huh. you if you look at social mm. attitudes on things like casual sex and you look at how people view these things in a moral context, like is it wrong to have casual sex? These things have been going in one direction. So while there is like a little rave or a little uh, movement that came on in the 70s and uh -huh. afterwards people may have not been into that movement that doesn't mean that their attitudes towards social or sex uh, casual sex uh -huh. have become more conservative fascinating so there's attitudes and then there's behavior so attitudes and behavior are different so we're for instance we're having less sex as a society but our social oh fascinating yeah, okay so what's what's more meaningful what people do or what people think what people think because that's people the dumbest think thing on earth what people do meaning the actions that's far more meaningful Wait, and impactful okay. on the planet me, earth that was extremely can I, dumb can i can i wow. that? Can I i'll let that? you i'll let you respond and then okay. we'll carry on because okay. we're so, getting dumb again so go ahead the reason for that is that for because of things maybe like social media people are home more they may not engage as much like young people are having less sex but they're stigmatizing people that have sex less so people like us who do sex work the reason it matters for us is just because they're having less sex but the social attitudes on putting a scarlet letter on us is not going in conjunction with their behavior and that's why it matters because if you're asking sex workers about social attitudes and those becoming more conservative just because people are having less sex it doesn't mean they are morally condemning sex anymore okay okay mm -hmm. fantastic did did I did we let you speak on that one or you're, no, you're good with that like I think okay. the thoughts the thoughts of the culture is more important because it's about like widening the choices that people can make rather than just the choices themselves fantastic okay fascinating and we could go back and forth on this particular one I, I think it's a, an interesting debate we won't go forward on it because we could have an entire session just on that because for example we could look at Afghanistan just as a single country and talk about the culture there and say has it become more or less conservative well, I thought over we were time. talking about the West so no, if you want to, if you yeah, want to go globally, we, are, we can yeah. have a different discussion. Don't bring up globally. You know, well, you don't know what that word means. You know, you don't know what that word means. You don't know what it means. But I do want to acknowledge that in this particular case, I think there's merit to both sides and it actually can be debated. Whereas some other things that we talk about, like, for example, when I asked you, like, you know, what's the one thing about the pornography on the phone that's just so problematic and you didn't pin down something? I, I don't think your, I think your arguments were flimsy, whereas I think in this case, you actually have something to stand on. And I actually appreciate what you said. So thank you very much for sharing that with us. You're very welcome. That was insightful. Um, carrying on to the next piece. Oh, are you caught up there? Uh, shout out to Chris J. Jazine Jafar Joseph quoted, the simps in your audience are going to subscribe. She hates her subscribers. And if anyone does subscribe, you might hate yourself. Well, your audience yeah. I don't like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I just also want everyone who does subscribe to know that we also hate you and we wish death upon you. Carrying on. Go ahead. <laughs> Sitar's third element. The one on my right has a chance for peace and to be a good woman because she is a follower. The one on my left will bring the draw but end up empty. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Who said that? Um, Sitar's third element. Sardi, you Sardi. have been fooled. Don't you ever be fooled. It's the, the most dangerous thing is to be fooled by these individuals. Are you on the left? She, I don't know. I don't know. it doesn't matter because you're both the same. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're, bo they're both the same. <laughs> you have been fooled if you think that because she's less verbose that she's a better person. They have the same thinking, the same behavior. They're friends, birds of a feather, flock together. They believe the same things. She might be less uh, disagreeable verbally, but you're not going to change her mind. That's what happens to a lot of men. And a lot of these guys who call themselves red pill, and I'm disgusted by the red pill just as much as you guys, I think it's ridiculous and disgusting. But these RP guys, when they're debating these girls, like, you know, when you get 50, you're going to regret this. They're trying to essentially save a hoe. They're trying to convert them to different behavior. Wait, you're not red pill. I know that these broads are not going to change. And my goal is not to change their behavior because a tiger never changes its stripes. My goal is to marginalize them and limit their influence and keep them broke. That's Idiot. definitely not working. But also, I just have a question. So you're not red pill. You don't identify as red pill. I think it's a ridiculous concept. So like, not you don't agree with like I've never, fit I've or never Rolo once or said or, like, that. One open. I've never once said that I'm red pill my entire life. But you just said so you disagree. I like with I Rolo think red and pill is rubbish and, and, and it's silliness. So you disagree with like Myron Gaines. And I never Rolo said and that. I said I think red pill is rubbish and it's silliness. Of the red pill. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just don't want to. 
you're scared, but okay. No, I just said that red pill is nonsense. I've always said that. It's and like what you're saying right? is, do you disagree with Rolo and Myron? Well, if I were to say, no, I don't, or yes, I do, that would, according to your language, that would be a global condemnation or a global agreement, well, then you, which you, is not you true. So there you go. With the red Boom. Pill. Now you know what global, <laughs> global means. I hit you again. disagreement with the red pill. So that's why no, I said the red pill is rubbish. And this is why I say it's rubbish. Yeah. Uh, number one, it's rubbish because it's not programmatic. It does not actually tell men what to do that's going to change the society. They'll complain about alimony. They'll complain about child support. They'll complain Myron about the courts. Myron doesn't tell men what to do. Are you going to listen or are you going to interrupt? Sure, but as I'm, long as I'm, I'm, we're good. We're good. It's fine. You don't actually want to hear anything. Anyway, shout out to Frank. He writes, big homie, did you ever get back the homogenous, um, oh, excuse me, the humongous amount of money that the failed police system tried to steal from you last year? Peace to the saints. No, I have a court case next month. It'll be fascinating. Oh, actually, I can't talk about any of this now that I recall. I can't talk about any of it. Uh, lawyers' orders. Lawyers' orders. Anyway, shout out to uh, Carter. He writes, Peace of the Saints. Left a question in the Patreon comments. Uh, please send it to the email below. Um, we got a fast-moving show. You all caught up there? Uh, stop playing Trey for the Master Communicator course speech we have to write. Will the topic be our choice? Yes, uh, but if I don't like the topic, I am going to change it. The goal to being a truly skilled person is for you to be able to, and, and I know you know about this given some of your work is, you know, if you have a task as a speech writer, you might not even believe in the thing you're trying to forward. And so we want to make sure that you're operating using the best in communication. So if your topic is in, eh, I might change it. And then showtime as a practicing Sunni Muslim with two sisters. This makes me quite sad. Her dad and brothers will be questioned on the day of judgment, which is nearing. Okay. You can uh, go ahead and forward that to your brothers and your father that uh, the gentleman says they will be judged. And I'm guessing he's saying they're going straight to the hellfire is my guess. What do you think? Uh, for sure. You'll be holding hands in the hellfire. Absolutely. That's my guess. Fantastic. Um, I think you also claim that you were in a, raised in a Muslim household as well. Culturally Muslim. Culturally, that's more accurate. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, another question is, uh, so I don't know, ex I just learned of you when you uh, came on here. So this is my introduction to you. I, obviously, we've talked before. And I don't know precisely what your connection is to Destiny, but people refer to you as Destiny's girls. And so I do have a question, not directly related to him, but you know some of his experiences. Um, and I'd love to get your opinion. So he recently was divorced. Uh, by Melina, his uh, ex-wife, I guess you can call her. And a lot of the internet is saying that she was a gold digger, uh, forever being with him just because he's not an attractive person. And they're saying she was with him for the money because a guy who looks like him and sounds like him could never get a decent girl. That's part one. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? And I realize, just preface, they do business with him. So what are your thoughts I on that? no business with him. Right. I, mean, I think he's my friend, but he's your friend, uh, what, what right? is the question? Do you think that a guy who looks like Destiny could get a woman on the caliber of Melina? Yeah, I do. Based on who he is, if he was not famous at all. He's very charismatic. All, just real quick, if he was not famous at all and he just like worked at Starbucks. Yeah, he's very charismatic. He has high emotional um, intelligence. Yes. He's not like socially retarded like you. Like, There's okay. a lot of things that would I would think that, yeah. Okay, very good. I think worked at Starbucks, maybe not, but I don't think uh -huh. he had to be a millionaire to pull her for sure. What if he worked at... Didn't she leave him for somebody who's like not, like basically works at Starbucks? So yeah, clearly, that's, how did I he agree. get her? That's a very if, good point. Yeah. I, that's yeah. a very good point. So, okay. And do you think that she was using him for his money? No. no. Not at all? No. Okay. Did she ask him for $100,000 after the breakup? I don't know anything about. Yeah, that. he he said that she asked him for more than a hundred thousand dollars after the breakup. What do you she, think? I mean, would that be are, an indication that she was she there for paid, the money? She paid a lot of. Didn't she pay like all the rent that she was supposed to pay? Didn't she go to the bank okay. and pay him back for like tax stuff? He has very good. You guys are staying on message. I like that. I like that. Have either of you ever cheated? Nope. Have, have you ever had a boyfriend? Yep. Really? Oh yeah, they tell me that you said you're a virgin. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did you did you I'm like looking, i'm wondering why it's a little laggy what, what was the question? okay all right. yeah she's a virgin i don't know it's her okay fair enough i'm, I not. Wish, I I'm definitely not i wish we had a lie detector test in this bitch right now i swear to god um oh yeah you're bisexual as well because they said um or at least that's what they've said that you're bisexual here let me see here we go quote farha is that the right pronunciation farha, yeah. 
okay, Farha claims she's a virgin yet degrades herself for ten dollars a month on OnlyFans. What's the point in saving yourself yet partaking in such a filthy hobby? I love this question because you love it. It's why you're welcome. It's partly why I do OnlyFans is because I'm not a virgin for purity or preserving myself for like the male gaze. It's because I personally just am picky and I just don't want to fuck anyone right now. And I like that it breaks people's brains because they can't understand like a woman wanting to be a virgin out mm. of her own volition. Sure. Is your hymen unbroken? Um, You're looking at her. It's your hymen. Is your hymen unbroken? <laughs> I would assume it's intact, but I, I don't know. You can break it as a child, like yeah, yeah, horseback uh, riding. Horseback riding. That's always the, the example is horseback riding every time. Fantastic. Okay, carrying on. A lot of people are born without it. A lot of people. Moved on a lot. A good, lot. A good okay, amount. more lies. Okay, or break it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Fantastic. Tampons. Yeah, I, will, I don't do virgins use tampons. That's fascinating. Curious. I this question. So I went through all the questions that the fans I put together. And some of them I had to delete. I was like, that's not so interesting. Or you guys get asked this all the time. I imagine there's a lot of things people commonly ask you. But this one I thought was actually quite funny. Um, and let me know if you think this is funny. They write, quote, from your perspective, ladies, how can the assassin do better to help men become great men in this modern era? How can what? How, how can we, people on my side, do better to help What do you men? mean? What's your side? Because it's not right. Everything that I do. A fake companies yeah yeah right how do we help men become better by the way Maybe start real at, companies? at some point the joke has to be funny like you keep sticking with it like it I has to hilarious. hit like when i was saying the global thing that shit was hitting people. that shit was hitting to but you. this ain't hitting it's not hitting it's not hitting i'll laugh i mean you're asking me a question about what go you ahead. could do differently i think doing the things that you pretend to do would be a good start very good and you're going to keep with the lies. It's very good. Right. Uh, how about you? What do you think? I'm not fully sure like what you promote. Like, can sure. you tell me a bit like very what you good. espouse to your audience? Very good. You seem to be more reasonable. I don't know if it's maybe I've not hurt your feelings. You know, you might also might not have feelings. That's also possible. Um, but you seem to ask smart questions. I like it. I like it. I think it's just the honesty. You use your real name and things like that. I think it's the honest, like a just not that you're an honest person, but it's a higher level of honesty. I think that's really the root of it. Anyways. One of the things that's most important to me, because you had mentioned that a lot of guys that consume your content and engage with you are lonely. And I agree wholeheartedly. In fact, I think there's clinical levels of loneliness and immaturity in the society. One of my big pushes is to organize people in person. So all around the planet Earth, we have sections of the SAS and where they get together and do a number of things that are productive, friendship based. And one of the chief things is exercise health is hugely important to me, not consuming intoxicants and spreading those basics in physical health that help you achieve, uh, have a foundation for achieving greater things in mental health. I would say those are all great solutions. I support all of that. I guess the one caveat would be probably not to promote calling girls whores because I feel like hate is right next to horniness. And when you teach men- said hate is next to horniness? 100%. Okay. I think when you're, you know, enraging your audience to call girls like us whores, I think mm -hmm. you are kind of also riling them up to go consume porn and just be more like violent, so, aggressive. So you think way. that, can you ask them if the, uh, if we're getting grainy on the stream, if the stream is still clear video? Put a one in the chat if the stream is coming in still clear and sharp HD. My, This is a fascinating, and I, I appreciate you sharing that, and I can tell that that's a sincere uh, note from you. And No one wants to be called a whore, but the ironic thing is that even whores don't want to be called a whore. I'm not even saying it from like personal feelings. I hear you. I don't, I don't have feelings. Yeah. I'm just saying in terms Damn, of- Damn, sure said, I don't have feelings. I said that shit a little while ago. I had a feeling she didn't have feelings. I don't. A fucking sociopath over here. But it's, yes. anyways, here's the thing, love. Is there a such thing as a whore? Um, I think the the crass formal definition informal definition would be a girl who sells their body. Yes, but I think when oh damn, you're good. So you said the definition of a whore, meaning the true meaning of the word, is a woman who sells her body. It's an outdated definition. Do you sell your body? Um, I sell photos and images. Do you sell your body? I think a person who sells photos of a car isn't selling cars. So no. Okay, a person who's sells photos of a car. Who the fuck does that? 
No, I'm just saying you wouldn't say Who that. Who the fuck sells pop photos of a car? I'm saying if I sold you, be you going to you. you be going to the metaverse on no, this. I'm this just is saying crazy. if I sold you a photo of a Lamborghini, you wouldn't say I sell Lamborghinis. Who sells photos of cars? You understand my point. Where can I go to can buy a car photo? No, I follow you being an escape artist. You're the greatest escape artist since El Chapo. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. But do you understand what I'm saying? That you're saying sell my body because you're trying to. I get think that you're a whore who doesn't want to be called a whore. And that's a problem in today's society. No, no one wants to be called what I'm they really are. Like, for example, let me tell you the difference. Like, you just define the whore which is a woman who sells her body you actually definition. do sell your body the textbook definition yet you don't want to be called if under you your true name to outdated but lexicon, the difference is yes. when you have someone like her she'll even try to put a term on someone where there's there's no evidence and you the evidence is there and then you try to say the definition is wrong it's obsolete no it's not it's obsolete outdated. what Same it, way like it's not a banana the there's no expiration date the it's not milk it doesn't spoil it up. what like, are you talking about has a definition if you look it up but it'd probably be outdated wow. and inappropriate to it's not outdated it's only when you're dealing with news speak this was written about by george orwell when you have persons like you who are the scum of society the dregs and you want to convince everyone else that you're normal why so you can feel in included so you don't go through more mental turmoil knowing that you're different in a bad way and so you have to reorganize the whole society including their morality but because people have a natural sense of right and wrong you got to force them that's why earlier you said that you need to be able to control the content that kids consume at school on their phones no, when really we should teach them morality instead of force okay. and you would think same. someone like you who's about liberation sexual liberation would believe that globally you don't know what that word okay, is i'll same. tell you later but you only believe it when it benefits you you want to redefine words when you can redefine your self out of being with y'all which is a whore. it's about you look at the culture you look at outdated lexicon people typically don't use whore in the same fashion they used to people don't use the word negro in the same fashion they used to and you wouldn't give I the whole did. what you was the second the one though speech. i didn't hear the second one what was the second one you wouldn't give the same what was the second word I justified what no what was the word? second word i didn't hear you i didn't negro. hear you Negro. 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 Okay. You wouldn't give Negro. the same whole speech if I said you're okay. a Negro, aren't you? What do you? I am a Negro. You? But if I were to say no, 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 let's get with it. Probably no, no, have a no, no. To that. Let's say, get after it, baby. In talking about tell that. me, tell me. Say you are a Negro. The same way a bunch no, of no, men no, no. Will tell me, tell me. We're gonna play. Words. We're gonna do it. You would probably have the Let's see who lives in reality. No, let's get reality, baby. Can we call you a Negro? No, let's get in reality. Tell reality. Tell me, I'm a Negro. Say you are a Negro, and I'll tell you you are a whore. Let's see how we react. Go. Tell me. Hit me. I'm not going to do that. No, because no. Tell I'm me. I'm not going to subscribe. Tell to like me. Crass, outdated Here's the thing. Just to no. match your low, no, no, no. Your low grade energy. Here's the thing, love. I am a Negro and you are a whore. If and I'll tell you why, because if you want to use the word Negro, it's referring to a group of people who share features. And if you were to use that term, however obsolete it may be, it's still a real word. And if that term it means that I am a word. descendant of those who were victim of the transatlantic enslavement, also known as the Mayafa, yes, I'm a Negro. And if I said you are a whore, I would be accurate in saying you are a whore because I am rightly categorizing you with women who sell their bodies. You are a prostitute. In fact, just a high tech prostitute, but still a prostitute. And you would not be known by a different her name is just sure, a fact let's use why you clues. can't why let's you can't deal with the truth clues. if a podcast of white men corralled black men on here to be like you're a negro aren't you over and over would you just oh, think gosh. that their intention was to educate them on a definition no so here's the difference sort of like if we were on a podcast and a bunch of white guys say you're a negro aren't you i say yes then we can move on. But if I keep denying it, then yeah, it's a discussion because it's ludicrous because I'm denying something that's obviously true. No, I mean, half this conversation. You and and I tell you, this, if you want to say the N word with the hard word, so if, if you want to say the N word with the hard R, you're talking about, listen, you're just a dumb Negro, if, you probably have a visceral reaction. I would say I'm not dumb, but if you feel that way, it's fine. It doesn't you're bother me. Like you're using the word whore in an if you want to use the N word with the hard R, I will also say yes. So my point is you're not she using is. the word whore neutrally and you'd probably no, have that's a, a description. To that's a job description. You on and saying you're a no, listen, Negro to half your point. No, listen, there's two well, important you, things. So number one, that was a job description. Calling her a dumb whore. That's not an insult. It's a job description. That's actually what she you're is. Dumb Negro furthermore, the same energy furgermore, to call you a dumb Negro. Negro. I love that you're bringing that up because what it I tells it me. Too. No, I'm going to tell you why I really enjoy it because this always happens when you find that you can't defeat someone. No, one second, love. The fake laughing, please. It's getting old. No, I love it. When people cannot defeat you, especially if you're an articulate black guy, of which there are few, they always go to the race thing. And here's the oh funny thing: God, you, found the, you, you, found the you, you found the you found the wrong one. You found the wrong one. But I oh like it. God. No, listen. Thank you so much. One second. Thank one second, you. love. Gabriel's one second. Please, Gabriel. So one thing I really appreciate is that you found the right one. If you wanted to call me an inward with a hard R, I would say yes. That's correct. Correct. Carrying on. If it's the problem. Is, but here's the difference. Dumb N -word, would you yes. have the same energy? I mean, that's fine. 
I mean, that's absolutely fine. I'll tell you why. Would you think I have some sort of agenda? If it I was doesn't matter. I you on podcast, it doesn't matter. Every two senses. What do you know? You're Listen, a dumb N-word. I'm it not, would matter. Here's the difference. You're offended when I call you a whore because you're a whore and you don't like the no, truth. I, I'm not offended. And you don't like the truth. If you call me an N-word, I don't care because so I don't think, feel like I'm a valueless black object. I don't so feel do that way. So do you think way. black people so like, are eh. wrong? So do you think black eh. people are wrong for not wanting to be called dumb Negroes? It doesn't matter what they feel. Black people's biggest issue is not being called the N word. Their biggest issue is not racism. Yeah. Their biggest I'm issue asked, no, the is question. poor You're education pivoting. and You're low pivoting. income. You're pivoting. So call me an N word. I, I please say you are a dumb N word. Hard R. Please hit me. I'm good. I'm not gonna ruin Go my career on the singing center podcast. <laughs> oh, but that's how you feel. There's nothing wrong with did that. I, did I say that's how I, I feel? feel? No. That's how you feel. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not using the word. There's anymore. nothing yeah, wrong with that. Way you're dumb. charging it up. In There's a way nothing wrong with that. I were to say you're a dumb Negro. That's why you bring that up because that's meaning to you. Like if I was a white guy, would you say, how would you feel if I called you a dumb Negro? You wouldn't. You wouldn't, right? You bring it up because I'm a black guy and you think it has meaning. And I'm telling you, it has no meaning. You're calling me a whore over and over and over and saying, why? Isn't that the Look, definition? I said, it's informal. It's outdated. It's the true definition and, and you don't like Negro it. And you're We're going to carry on. You're hurt. You don't want the body. truth. You, didn't you don't want the truth. Why don't you address my analogy? If I were to sell pictures of a Lamborghini, am I selling No one buys pictures. Oh my God. Can but you not engage in the hypothetical? You're a prostitute. You're a high tech prostitute. That's what I'm telling you. You're saying that because I don't sell my body on the street, you don't know I'm not a prostitute. You don't know the you're a high tech prostitute. I don't think you know the That's all there is. Yeah, you're a high tech prostitute. That's all there is. Your own emotions and not actually. Oh, emotions! Lexicon. Please stop. You don't want to be a whore. No, I'm. I. I feel, bro. I'm you emotionally really excited about being. You don't do want to I feel offended? Whore. My eyebrows have not moved this entire That's Botox. Podcast. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's Botox. She can't make any faces. That's why I don't know why. I don't know how she really feels. She's a sociopath with Botox. I'm confused out here. Goddamn. Anyways, if I was a sociopath, um, I would need the Botox to hide my You're, you're a sociopath. That's why you're able to do OnlyFans <laughs> no, and take all the, the social. So you're able to take all the social sanction. It's sells, an amazing thing. Is a person thing. who sells photos of a car selling cars. It's an amazing engage thing. Engage with it. This is what he you does when he doesn't have a You are a prostitute. You are a Negro. <laughs> and if I sold pictures of a Lamborghini, am I selling Lamborghinis? I enjoyed that. I did. I also like how you guys said it in unison. I wish you were damn near wearing like a like a the a, like a cloak. <laughs> no, like the the outfit of like a slave master's wife. That would be kind of entertaining. But you'd need to be a little bit more pure because I think you'd probably be called a Negro too during that same time, right? He's Got wild. him. Anyways, he carrying that, on. He's like, you're, a, you're a Negro. <laughs> Got him. Anyways, carrying on. Negro. Um, no, actually, that's a good point. They would call you a Negro whore. Do you realize that? You realize I don't it. think they would call me a Negro. <laughs> oh, oh, someone doesn't know who they are. That's fascinating. Do you think you're white? Are you white? No, there's no. Do you there's, see the is world? There any, oh. Is there a spectrum oh, between okay. white and Negro? Negro? Listen, listen. <laughs> do they call so I have a Negro? question. One, one second, one second. Do they call Latinos Let, Let's Negros? see how much you Am know. I Negro? Were you born in this country? <sighs> okay. If no, I, I want to real pictures, quick. Just real no, no, quick. Were you born in this country? Were you were you born in this country? Of a product, am I selling that? Do you think that? 80 years ago in America, you wouldn't be called an N-word? And would I? I don't think I'd be called an N-word, no. You'd, you'd be maybe white. Like, maybe like a sand N-word. Cat categorically in America, would you be white or would you be colored an N-word? the way you think? No, I want to know. Is your thinking this You're so dumb. We're talking about American history. You see, I'm asking you, 80 years ago in this country, would you be drinking at the white water fountain or the colored water fountain? I want to see if you're on the planet Earth. W which water fountain would you be at? The white one or the colored one? Does that mean that I'd be called a Negro? Yes, you would. Because to a white person, if you are not a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant during that era, you are an N word. So, am I a Negro? So, real quick, We're would Asians. you be just answer? We're you Asians. you seem bothered. Would you drink out the water fountain? The yeah, water fountain for the whites or the color? Just a simple question. Simple question. Botox. Are you drinking at the white water fountain or the colored water fountain? Um, Eighty years ago. Probably the colored one. Okay, thank but Does that you. mean I'd here. be called a Negro? We're, we're done here. That's Wait, very good. am I a Negro? Would I Asians really want to know. Very good. Say in center, am no, I a Negro? <laughs> you, you are a mongrel, but I think you'd probably be able to pass as white, but you are a mongrel. Okay. Yes. So, so clearly there's more nuance than between white no, and No, 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 no. No, there's not because she clearly has more melanin than you. You are pale. You are a pale mongrel. You would not be accepted as a white so Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Would I be the white She'd be drinking out of the white water fountain because categorically she would be categorized as a white person. You'd be categorized as a colored person. You'd be categorized as a white person. I feel like People confuse us all the time. But also, no, she's a mongrel, so she would not be looked well upon. But yeah, okay, she'd be that's categorized great. as white. Answer my question. If someone sells photos of a car, are they selling a car? No. Okay, if I sell photos of my body, am I selling my body? Yes. Okay, why? Explain. <laughs> <laughs> Explain. That's I a like big that. laugh. Big laugh. I like Explain. that. Because you are a high-tech prostitute. That's why. Okay, so actually give an actual answer. One thing I do want to talk about with you ladies, 
because you're OnlyFans creators. And I think that, and I don't know if you're doing well or not. I actually think you're broke. I think you make very little money. Okay. Why would you um, make very little money? You just, She's like yeah, a Persian clearly 11 Clearly, I make very little money, guys. It doesn't matter what the <laughs> truth is because we're just making up things. Now, as you guys are broke OnlyFans creators, which is why you go on this podcast circuit, exactly. constantly mm -hmm. traveling, um, I think that people look at you no and they- money, we're traveling. Yes, because you're broke. <laughs> uh, I think people look at you and the young girls who, similar to yourselves, are dim-witted and talentless and lazy and immoral they think maybe like those girls, instead of working at Starbucks, which is where I should really work, according to my merit, maybe I can make a, a buck if I put on some yeah. silly glasses and uh, show my butthole. So I think the problem is that they're misinformed because mm -hmm. the data indicates that the overwhelming majority of people on OnlyFans yeah. are making not enough money to live on. I would never advise my audience to go into OnlyFans. Like I've said that before just Me because too. I Your audience are dudes. So you're saying That's you wouldn't true. advise women. My, my TikTok is 70% women. Oh, okay. You're not talking about your OnlyFans audience. You're just saying your audience globally got you. Go ahead. Yeah, in general, I wouldn't prescribe my audience to go into OnlyFans. Like, I was already sitting on 2 million followers. I knew exactly how much I could make. I knew I could potentially retire off of it. And I knew I was already doing content creation uh -huh. for life, basically. But I wouldn't prescribe that to my audience because the average creator makes, like, 100 bucks. And I, in right. this current climate, I 100 don't think... 100 bucks per month or per annum? Per month. And I, I okay. it, during this climate, I don't think we're there yet where it won't hinder your job prospects. So I wouldn't advise it to my audience. So, on average, if women are making 100 bucks now moving forward even if the culture lets up and becomes more permissive corrupt then the market will be more saturated and it will push down income not only for that average one who's yeah. making 100 yeah. but also but if, for if it won't hinder job prospects then it's fine because, because if you won't get you if you won't lose we're not your talking job, about that we're not if you won't lose that. your job we'll also yeah. make an extra 50 like a month you do also you're saying you're saying they should do it average that much too you're saying they should do it as a supplemental thing no no i was saying let's say we're in a culture where you could do it as a supplementary thing without losing your primary source of income then i think that'd be fine if you're only making like 50 to 100 a month but right now it's not worth risking a career for only 50 to 100 exactly a month. Yeah. i agree with that 100 one of the things i find fascinating is this metaphor that we've had in the culture which is the concept of selling your soul and so as a capitalist you say well what is the price of your soul and when i think of the soul i think of it being like you enduring spiritual damage and breaking things that you cannot unbreak your reputation and all these other things is it worth anyone's soul to make a hundred dollars a month, even if the culture is permissive? Well, I think that depends on what harms your soul. So it depends. Like for me, it doesn't hurt soul. my soul. Let you. me finish. You ain't got one. I don't think it hurt. It doesn't hurt my soul in order to put my body on the internet. But I run my pages. Everyone on the internet knows I'm kind of famous for running my page in a way where I'm making actually less money because it violates my ethics. If I pretended that I ran what do you companies, mean, what do you mean by that part? Um, I don't hire chatters. So all my, I literally have 450, I can pull it up right now. I have 450 unread. Every OnlyFans girl will tell you that they respond to you. Them individually responds to you. I mean, this is pretty well known on the internet. This is why some of my fans, I can I pull have up, multiple have people, left on red. I have multiple people February. working for me responing to you and I don't get paid to respond. So how they That's do so, it, yeah. I don't know. So how I'm do glad they do that it? you find my ethics. Their they people don't. are lonely and they come to them for engagement. Yeah, my people I mean, don't come to me for that level of engagement and connection, and I got to hire people to respond. How yeah. do they manage to respond? They're lying to you. They have people doing this on their behalf, I mean, I and it's mostly guys. And put it on the it's mostly right men. Now. Okay. It's mostly men Any, respond, responding to you, in. jack off artists. 434 unread messages that no one's responding to. You need to hire to, an, an additional person. No, I don't have anybody. But that's but it would hurt my soul to lie and say I started a company when I didn't. You're so a liar. A Every, you're thing. lying different constantly. Things hurt our souls. That's all. You're lying constantly. So Your lips depends. are lying. Just all depends. this makeup is lying. Is this where you've pivoted Everything's to when, lying. Like, somebody does what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? All, everything about you is a lie. Okay. What are you talking about? Your nails really, are a lie. Everything's really, a lie. Really really your waist is a lie. Everything's a lie. What are you waist talking about? Waist is a lie. First, you said my boobs are a lie. Everything's a lie. <laughs> Someone pulled a clip where he's like, "Your boobs are clearly fake." Everything's and then also a lie. The screenshot of him being like, "Actually, I was wrong. Your boobs Everything's are real." Everything's a lie. Wait, how is someone's waist a lie? Anyway, it just means you look good. Yeah, but he doesn't you. want to simp. Stop. That's him simping when he says your looks are a lie. Like my waist. No, I love to compliment women. I just don't like fake things. You see, the thing is, I like authenticity. I don't like things that are fake. Yeah. Stop it. You lied last time. I, Stop right, it. I'm going to post the DMs Stop of him it. simping for me. Post those DMs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to send them the dick pic too. Don't forget.
Share all the DMs. Wait, you didn't send me a dick pic, but you had no. To share all, all the DMs. Yeah, I will. All of them. I will. All right. Um. Anyway, so, uh, you all think that if a woman could potentially make just a hundred bucks a month, it's still worth her trying out OnlyFans? Or you say, hey, well, we sis. Just we said just no. said okay. So for instance, someone said I want to be I'm a YouTuber. About today. If today. someone wanted to be a YouTuber right okay. now, I'd say okay, you may make a hundred extra hundred dollars a month, but you're not the chance that you're going to be very successful is low. Same thing with OnlyFans. However, because of what she cl said very clearly. YouTubing and OnlyFans is the same thing. That's that crazy because my mom would create a YouTube account this in a is jiffy. Literally what she in spent, a jiffy. She spent 10 minutes the explaining fuck? to you. The you guys keep taking your dirty things project. and comparing it to something clean. Don't take your dirty thing and compare it to something clean. No, take a, your dirty thing and compare it to something right. dirty. I don't think he understands I had a English. roommate who's who's an influencer and she's very Republican, has a lot of like conspiratorial opinions. She told me she wants to start a podcast where she talks about them. Mm -hmm. You probably wouldn't consider that a dirty thing to be like super, super conservative. But I mm -hmm. told her right now in the climate, it's probably not worth it because she'll hinder your job prospects. I'm not even saying there's anything wrong with freedom of speech or expressing that, but I would still advise her against it unless she knows she can bank off of it. And I didn't think her audience was big enough to where she'd see that type of ROI to where it's worth it. Does that make sense? So when you're making a decision, you want to look at what the opportunity yeah. cost is. And right now, the opportunity cost for doing something like OnlyFans, depending on what other job prospects you have available to you, could be really hindering. However, if that is not the case in the future or with certain things like it's not the case, like being a YouTuber, I would say go for it. It's very simple. We've explained this to you twice now. Each. Okay. So in summary, after all those words, you're saying don't do it. Sure. Thank you. That's all we needed. Thank you. Carl writes, flame these hoes. Sir, yes, sir. There are a lot of George people that I would tell to do tuition. it. Though. Yeah. Y'all can't never answer questions simple. I said to the average woman. Anyways, Johnny writes, peace of saints, time no cook. Shout out to the ballers. Geo writes, let, oh, excuse me, here we go. Um, let's start this off right. Peace of saints, big homie. Hope all is well. Appreciate you. Shout out to the real ones. Hit me with the super chats. Uh, Sartes, third element. I love how the conversation turned to the girl on the right. Love it. None of the above 101. Who the duck sells pictures of cars? Anyways, I got to incorporate the, f the fake and the laughter and the parodying that the lawyer has mastered. I'd, I'll be killing it globally. Globally. <laughs> Always globally in a real way. You caught up? Yep. Fantastic. Folks, sending your comments, questions as we wind down here. We do want to respect the fact that these ladies have some tricks to get to, right? This is Vegas. I'm sure they have some dates lined yeah, up that right. they will be compensated well for, okay? Some fat Armenian, hairy Armenian dude in the Bellagio right now waiting on these nice young ladies, goddammit. We can't waste their time. Um, but one thing I do want to do is give a couple notes for the women who are watching because I think that you do bring up one meaningful point, which is that if you go into this and you fail at it, you do want to be able to get another job. But I guess for women, there's always a safety net. There's always a sugar daddy. There's always some idiot who will finance you. Now, he's generally not going to be very appealing or attractive, but he'll, you can live off of him at the very least. But if you don't want to live off of a fat, ugly dude, uh, let me give you guys some numbers. Over 2.1 million creators on OnlyFans. And shout out to OnlyFans. They're doing all right. 2.1 million creators. That's just creators, not consumers. That's extraordinary. With earnings ranging from, this is per month, uh, $100 to $180. That's wild. But that was the average. And we know mathematics, you don't want to use the average. Sometimes you want to use a different measure because the average can be not a good representation. What metric do you want to use instead of the average? For, I think you look at the person's like, I don't want to give general advice to everyone. I want to look at the person. And okay. Like, so I'm saying instead of the average in mathematics, what measure do you want to use? to find out because you mentioned studies and data yeah, okay, wait, wait, wait. instead what of the, the average used yes. to do what okay so for example if you're looking at housing prizes sometimes and you have a neighborhood where there's one no, house no, no, that's no, very no. expensive Are and you one that's about very only cheap fans? what is the question i'm saying when you're looking at a data set and you want to figure out what will be most typical that doesn't but that's instead of using that. the average what mathematical measure should you use instead of the average it's not i wouldn't say just keep that, making eye contact no, when you don't look at anything not, else no, since you're no, so smart no, what would you no, use instead no, of the no. average i would not say that you, you what would you use instead of the average the median. the median god damn it i knew you were the smarter one you are dumb as a box no, of rocks and this. you're pretending to be smart okay. you are not smart okay. don't you ever try to act like okay. you have anything on me it's ludicrous okay. the median thank you you got a good education i don't okay. know where you grew up okay. god damn it you grew up in poverty or some shit. Definitely. You went to black schools. God damn. Yeah, Your mama cool. was on section eight. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Amazing. Yeah. The median. You don't even know basic fucking mathematics. That's eighth grade shit the right there. Was. That's eighth grade shit. Stop pretending. Anyways, don't you ever disrespect me. You're unworthy Keep going. now. So the average person on OnlyFans earns between a hundred to 180 
per month, but that's on average, which is not the best measure. A better measure would be, now I want you to say it now. What's the question? God damn it. She still don't know. It's the, it's the what? Go ahead, baby. Show it off. Show it off. You know it. Go ahead. Show it off. Show it. Show the intelligence. Go ahead. Show that good upbringing. Go ahead. I'm wait. We we know. I, I went to a second rate school. No, it's okay, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us what is the mathematical measure we need. The median. The median. Thank you, love. We would really need to look at the median, and it turns out if you look at the median, most women on OnlyFans are not even earning a hundred dollars, which is to say they could not afford after a whole month of work, they could not afford to go to a nice restaurant in Las Vegas, Nevada. After a whole month of exposing themselves on the internet with images, pornographic images that will be immortalized and forever there, there to degrade you are, and, and sully your family I think, name. I think there are a lot of idol accounts. A lot of people create accounts. I don't think it's possible. You don't know what a median is. You can't no, talk no, no. right now. This you have to wait point. until we get off of this, this topic. This is literally we, the point. You don't comprehend. Is that on this how one. many women who are actually posting daily on OnlyFans and then get the median there? Not people who just create accounts and then oh. don't do anything with them. That's a better That metric. would be a good point That's if you understood metric. what a median is. I but being well that you don't what understand what a median is, is I know that you don't. Do you want me to explain you it know. to you? Do you want me to explain what a median is? No, no, no. You don't want to give me the opportunity to show off my smarts. I can tell you right now what a median is. I can an example and everything. I do have a question for you to pull on your intelligence. Mm. Do you think that OnlyFans girls are more likely to be less competent than a woman of the same age? Um, I think because of the stigmatization of OnlyFans, it's going to attract people who like, like I think I'm an anomaly in that I just would enter. You're the this, smart one, right? No, I'm an anomaly in the okay. sense with my background and my privilege. A lot of women wouldn't want the stigma and they wouldn't want to enter something where they're going to be like sitting across from you. But like, yeah. I don't mind. So this I is not think, OnlyFans. You're doing this. No, this no, has no, nothing to do with OnlyFans. What I mean is like this kind of thing just shows that I'm the type of person that's going to put myself in situations that a yeah, lot of other people that are embarrassing because yes. of the stigma of it. Just like if being a hairdresser was super stigmatized and every one would like there would be a lot of people in society who wouldn't like you that would obviously attract people who may not have as many other prospects available to them so i would say only fans probably compared to the average woman is more likely to um get the underprivileged would be more likely to gravitate towards it than let's say being a lawyer because that requires different that's things. a very feminine answer instead of saying yes or no um you've given me a long explanation i appreciate that Too many words for um you? No, it's just that when I asked you what the when what I the mathematical what measure is, is when I asked answer. you what the mathematical you measure is, you didn't know. And the, the, the good answer would have been just like, I don't know. And as an honest person, when someone asked I mean, me something and I don't know the answer, person. I would just very say, I don't know. Yeah. I just, is I that don't you know. don't know what your IP is? Then? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. See, you don't I don't know. know. There it goes. See, that's how you do it. Fantastic. What do you think? You said, is the average OF girl likely to be less competent, like less skilled than, than her, girl. than her parallel. Who's not an OF girl. I don't know. I'd say neither. I, <laughs> Why are you trying to copy me? She's no, like, no, I it's like not. That. Are you saying like a successful uh, OnlyFans girl yeah. or just anyone who makes on an average. account? On, now we're moving from the median to the average. If they're able to make income off of it, um, I think they could potentially be more financially competent than the average girl. Yeah. If they're able to actually make it work. Yeah, because you But that's not the like average OnlyFans girl, right? Some like marketing skills. Well, I said yeah. average OnlyFans girl, assuming they're successful enough that they don't need a second So then income. they're not average because the average OnlyFans girl is not but successful you're at OnlyFans it. OnlyFans girl, you make it sound like that's their primary income. The average one that's on the platform has an account. Just has an account. Yeah. So that would be the one that's unsuccessful. Then I don't know. But if only if they're an OnlyFans girl, that's their primary income. They're probably more yeah, financially competent, financially successful. If they're if that's their primary income. I actually agree with you because at that point they would be, though, in a dirty business, they would be an entrepreneur, Wait, when you say which takes some. Um, do you mean financially competent? You, there's no competent? discovery on OnlyFans. So you have, actually to, you have to like cross promote on like Reddit competent? or another. So I would stick with my Say that once more. I'm sorry. She interrupted. No, I was just saying there's no discovery on OnlyFans. So mm -hmm. in order to make it a primary source of income, you'd have to like cross promote or market on like podcasts or like a TikTok or Instagram. Right. So it's not just a matter of like just uploading pictures of your asshole. Right. In order to make it your primary income. And that's why most of them are making a hundred bucks a month because. Yeah, they don't they, have a way to promote it. Because they're not smart. Yes. Uh, hit me. St. Michael Goodwin. This was some mental gymnastics. SRT's third element. Where is Bridget? This girl fumbles. Fire her. Thank you. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> damn. Um, Nico blinks. Thank you. The definition of prostitution is someone who engages in sexual activity for payment. Posing nude in seductive fashion is in fact sexual activity. Keep the trash analogies, ma'am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, 
Do you want to respond to that? No, well, since you're the smart one, let you respond first. Go say for it. This bitch is dumb, boy. This bitch dumb. You're not listening. Whoa. Dumb. I was thinking about the Yo. Armenian at the Bellagio. Her mind, her slow. mind be going so damn slow. Repeat that slowly. Thinking about the Armenian. I was you repeat blow that the slowly. The definition of a prostitute is someone who engages in sexual activity for payment. Posing nude in seductive fashion is in fact sexual activity. Keep the trash analogy, as ma'am. Cars are not human beings with social. Societal. Why, why? I wasn't even something I said. Why would I answer that question? Oh, that's too. That's too up here for no, are you. Are you asking me? That's too Ask me the question. Are you a prostitute? Is my question first, yeah, and then I would say yeah. I, I just don't. I think appreciate. That. I don't care. Yeah. I appreciate that. Can you just say I am a prostitute? I am a prostitute. We're gonna be friends off no, camera. We're gonna no. be friends. I know no, you tried friends. last time, but no. We're gonna be friends. You ain't delete that dick pic though, huh? You sub she subscribed to my OnlyFans. Yeah, <laughs> I got an only I got an OnlyFans with one subscriber right here. She be paying big money. You heard me? So subscribe to her shit so she can subscribe to mine because mine expensive. Anyways, are you a prostitute? If that's actually the top definition, I thought the definition was someone who has sex in person. No, it's not, not just yeah. like e-sex. It's not it, that we are we're considered prostitutes. I guess you have more accurate. I would say virtual prostitutes because that's the colloquial. I'd say that more aligns with what most people see as prostitutes. But I don't mind the difference between you prostitute, prostitute and whore. Is whore is like derogatory. you've heard the definition? Are if you that's a prostitute? The definition, then yes, I am a prostitute and proud. We have Prostitute brought them. We have brought them a little closer to the truth. We've not brought them to Jesus. We have not brought them to the straight path. But we have brought them a little closer to the truth. And I don't think any podcast has ever done this before. So we were never sensitive you know, feel, to the labels. We were just re pushing back on how you were using. Whore. Them. You are sensitive to the labels. Did I seem sensitive at all tonight? Are you a whore? Um, no. According to the damn it, there you go. Okay, carrying on, carrying on. Uh, she a prostitute, but she not a whore. How's that work out? Because whores outdated. How's like that Negro. work out? Go ahead. <laughs> Reckly, uh, I need you know we gonna make two shirts real quick. We gonna make a shirt. I am a Negro, and I'm gonna get her one that says I am a whore. A Negro whore because I would have drank out of the colored fountain. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so damn funny. Would you wear it? I would. I, listen, chat. God damn it, chat. Don't you fail me. You guys better remind me. I'm making. I am a Negro whore shirt, and I'm sending her one. We're going to get your P.O. box. I'm going to have somebody reach out. We're going to get your P.O. box. Uh, do you you want a white whore one or just whore? Uh, white whore. Hi, bro. Mongrel whore does kind of have a ring, a nice to, ring it. to it. Yeah, mongrel whore. Very good. Okay, chat, do not let me down. This is good. And this is going to tie in with your OnlyFans promotion. I'll make sure it's a crop top for you. It'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Her. Go ahead. <laughs> for her... <laughs> I'm emaciated. I need a sweatshirt. To we just going to get you a beanie. You get your beanie. <laughs> I'm a Negro whore. Okay, carry on. Uh, Reckley, yo, peace to the saints. Marquette, did you know that Jasmine Bimbo is a eugenics? Andrew Wilson exposed her and has been destroying her on debates. <laughs> okay, do we want to? So the reason says you're people, into eugenics. So he asked me, should women get married sooner or wait? And I said that all our data indicates that waiting till you're 25 and over, especially if you can also be college educated, has better outcomes for marriage and for children. And he said, but black women are less likely to go to college. So are you saying that black women shouldn't have children? If you think that's Wait, a great argument, this? Andrew Wilson. Oh, I don't know who that is. Okay. So, sure. If that's what being a eugenicist is, then. I would, oh, I would give okay. the same advice to all women, irrespective of their race. You should wait until you're probably 25, if, if possible, being educated before you get married and have children. That seems to be the best measure of success, both in marriage and having children, no matter what your race is. Don't listen to people who are prostitutes. Carry on. We're good. Caught up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. That was completely idiotic. Um, and your peak physical health as a female in terms of uh, birthing uh, healthy children is not going to be later in life. Yes, so I you highly also recommend want your children to that. thrive. So if you're just trying to pop out as many children as possible, her sure, definition of thriving has have, nothing to do with anything other than money. 16 then you should have Low as key. many children as you can. Yep. If that's what you want, if you want your children you to actually be successful yes. and have good outcomes, then you should wait. It's better to have two children. Is only Would you actually, consider OnlyFans a good outfit or a fail? Two, if you want to have two children and have them actually accomplish things versus having 16 children, you make Would you decision. consider OnlyFans a good outcome for your child? Yes. I think being a multimillionaire at a very young I age. I didn't ask you that. I just asked you, do you consider OnlyFans to be a good outcome Depending for your child? Depending on how much money they made on OnlyFans. Okay, so money them. is the measure of a good outcome for you. Understood. One now, that's why you can't listen that's to this them, person. Thank sure. you. Dwayne writes, Saint, I was referring to the last live. Okay. 
All right. Not sure what it that means you're gonna have to send that whole thing. I'm kind of lost there. Shout out to Charlie. He writes tuition. Truly appreciate it. Shout out to the real one supporting the work. And looks like we are caught up there. Fantastic. Um, you're caught up too? Yep. Great. Let me uh, knock out my last uh, questions as we wind down. Okay. So again, from the fans, gentleman writes, Farha says, okay, I think I'd ask for that. I think it seems like his issue might be with the pricing model. Farha says she hasn't lost her virginity. I know I said this before, I read this before. She hasn't lost her virginity because her standards are extremely high. Then why is her OnlyFans so cheap uh, for others to consume? <laughs> <That's your sake. laughs> you guys are sick. Um, um, they, all right, just go ahead and answer that piece. Then we'll I, go I think it's more invasive to have someone's dick inside of me than to simply look at photos of me. Yeah, I think that makes sense to a lot of people. Okay, fair enough. You aren't childish, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. And... Um, when you say your standards are high, I don't know if I said high. I said I'm picky. Is oh, like, I think you I think, did I use think the word it's an picky. invasive act, and you have to have a high level of attraction. You're something. heterosexual. I'm bisexual. You're bisexual. Have you had uh, sexual experience with females? Mm -hmm. And you said you're raised in a Muslim family. I know they're so. They're Put so my so individual right camera on. Is my individual camera on right now? I think Muslims don't. All right, go back to the, the widescreen. That was crazy. Amazing. Okay, and then the next question is hilarious. I'm going to ask both of you. Are you a good person? Mm, I think I can do better. But not because I, I sell my body. I don't think that has anything <laughs> to do with my goodness. Can we do that over? I'm sorry. start all over both of us are you a good person define good thank you are you a good person yeah is my individual camera on right now are you a good person they ain't asked me carrying on <laughs> in your ama video what is ama Ask me anything. Okay, very good. Thank you. I appreciate that. In your A, was that a podcast? Is it for me or for her? I don't know. Let me read the question. In your AMA video, you stated that you once considered. Uh, I, this is for you. In your AMA video, you stated that you once considered lesbianism. God damn, it's an ism to be I don't a lesbian. Think that was me then. Um, however, when Marquette asked previously, this is you. You said you've never had any inclination. How can you be a, trusted as a lawyer? Okay, I've never said it. I've considered lesbianism. So that, that's just incorrect. Okay, so this is what the person wrote, and I, the internet is undefeated. So I just want to make sure that we are giving your correct statement here. Yes. So you are stating that on the AMA video, which you said is the Ask Me Anything video, yes. you never said you considered lesbianism. Yes, I never said that. You never said that. No, I never said that. Okay. So we have us both in this shot right now, right? Okay, fantastic. Just want to make sure because if you did, we got to go back and sure, clip that shit. Yeah. You feel me? All right, cool. Anyways, like uh, so you're, you said my boobs so you're not lying. Wrong. Yeah. Okay, very good. Anyways, um, how can you be a trusted lawyer? Well, she's not a lawyer. God damn it. She's not a lawyer. Fair enough. Anyways, next one is, have you ever considered, okay, got that one. Oh, this one I like right here. And you already lied about this, so I'll ask you, do you personally reply to all of your OnlyFans or do you have others who collaborate with you to do it? I do it myself, but I have someone to help with like sending out the packages, like the content packages. But in terms of the conversation, I do it myself. You're getting a little closer to the truth, but you're still lying. So I appreciate your effort to, to not be a flat out liar. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyways, carrying on. Um, and I also like how you said I'm not. Can, can we just do that real quick? Cause that was really fun. Can you tell me a blatant lie real quick? And then I'm going to say you're lying. And then I want you to say the same way deadpan. I'm not. Okay. You want me to tell a lie? Yeah, yeah. Let me think of a good lie for you. Um, I want you to tell me that your coochie does not stink. And then I'm going to say you're lying and you're going to say, I'm, I'm not. not. Saying that. <laughs> all right. All right. Carry on. Carry on. All right. Fuck it. Carry on. Anyways. Um, any regrets you have or things you would worry about with your lifestyle? Mm, no no regrets mm -hmm. i figured as much 
I think we're both probably hesitant about like safety stuff, but other than that, I don't think we have any like moral qualms. Yeah, life. and I don't know if we regret anything. Like yeah. regrets is a weird word. Um, with the amount of regrets money that we word? have both made, yeah, to, to it's a weird word in reg- like with safety. Okay, and back to the money uh, with regards to the amount that of money. The only type made. of concerns, the only yes. type of regret I think that it's like oh, if I hindered future opportunities and I didn't set myself up for retirement. But that's not the case. So that okay. would be the only regret. How much money have you made since you're very wealthy? Um, I make seven figures a year. I'm not going to give you. Okay, let me just count how many that is. That's a wait, hold on. That's a lot. So so every year you make more than a million dollars. Bottom line, not top line, but bottom line. Yeah. Are you a multimillionaire? Uh, like, do I have that? Well, also my parents are pretty well off, so I've always come from money. Now- that's the thing that kind of fucks me up about you. That's how like it, it saddens me because truth be told, when I observe people in certain professions, I'm kind of like. Yeah, I, I get it. I'm not going to knock the hustle. You kind of got to do that. But folks like you, it's just like, damn, like you are actually a devil. Like you are okay. actually a demon on earth. Like you did not have to do it, but you're like, you know what? Yeah, I didn't want to wake I'm up. I'm a low person. I'm I'm doing it. I don't I don't need the money particularly. I'm doing it. Yeah. Sign me up. Yeah. That's crazy, though. That's amazing. That makes me demonic. Makes me demonic. Yeah. yeah. You were like the mid-tier person in high school, right? Like you weren't like very popular. Like you weren't voted like you weren't like the beauty queen or homecoming queen or like voted best smile or anything like that, right? Like you were just like the mid-tier person in high school. I was actually pretty popular in high school. Yeah. What did What did they vote you in the yearbook? I don't remember like the yearbook. Nothing. Okay. Got you. I don't think we even had. I just want to see if there was evidence of you being what you say you are. Okay. There's nothing. Okay. Carrying on. That's fine. What's, where's the evidence Anyways, of you um, having an any IP? regrets? <laughs> any regrets? Again, with the fake laugh, I love it though. Any regrets? Your IP, your <laughs> any regrets you have or things uh, you worry about with your lifestyle? I think there actually have to be some answers to this. If you think deeply, I know you guys are being defensive and you feel like I'm constantly attacking you. And you know what? You're right. I am attacking you. But on a sincere note, like, are there any regrets or things that you worry about with your lifestyle? So my lifestyle is like, I'm pretty introverted. I stay home most of the time. If I'm not home, I don't drink or anything. I'm out. If I go out, I travel a lot. I see a lot of the world. Do you and travel I by do- yourself? Uh, or with friends or with family. Mm-hmm. I travel all the time. Oh, your family has not abandoned you. No. Your father knows about your only fans. Yeah. How's he feel about it? He doesn't like it, but he hasn't abandoned me. Wow. Yeah. He's a better man than I am. Oh, for sure. Carrying on. I guess I couldn't say but better because my daughter wouldn't be trying her butthole then, for money. I that would so that was I'm, I'm so so I guess right. the lifestyle I have mm-hmm. is that I post stuff on the internet and make a ton of money. But mm-hmm. in my day to day, I don't know what I would regret about traveling and got you. So no regrets here. She's perfect. No regrets. Everything's going swimmingly. You can never believe someone like that. What about you? Um, no regrets, but the only moral concern I would have is that girls would think because I do it that they should do it if they're not in the same position as me. Like I wouldn't want girls to say like, oh, because Farha does OF, I want to start one because I think she's cool or something. Yeah. Do you think that girls get that sense? It'd be hard to gauge. I haven't gotten any DMs that say like, hey, if I got a DM from a girl that says like, do you think I should do OnlyFans? I typically say mm-hmm. don't. Mm-hmm. Like I do say that. Um, yeah. You do spend t- time on yeah. your platform saying that. So yeah. because of that, I think that would deter somebody mm-hmm. who maybe thought about it. And, and that's also you partly why like I don't share my income because I think people, yeah. if I, even I tell them socially, like my friends, my income, they'll hear it and be like, maybe I should start it even if they have no platform. So that's why I don't say it publicly. So you think the money would be alluring to them? I think it would, yeah. Yes, yes. It's a, it's a dangerous thing when we live in a society where um, our mentalities, because I actually love capitalism. I think making money is a phenomenal thing. I truly believe in business as a force for good, in fact. But when capitalism gets out of control and we have people who pursue profit at any cost, then we experience great problems in the society. And I think that OnlyFans generally is one of those places where you collect individuals who are pursue- pursuing profit at any cost, even the cost of their soul and their reputation and their family. Can I ask why you see it as a detriment to the soul? OnlyFans? Well, what about prostitution? Is prostitution a... No, I'm asking from your purview. Yeah, I'm saying, do you think prostitution is detrimental to the soul? No. Ah, I see, I see. I don't think we have the same views of soul, so I guess I'm asking like... Not at all, because you're... Are you an atheist? I'm agnostic, yeah. So you don't believe in the soul? Not necessarily. I just don't right. like when people just outline that just selling your photos of your body or even like selling sex detriments your soul because it just feels like a visceral reaction that guys just can't admit. Is because you're turned off by. Are it. you religious? Yeah. For instance, I just follow the ism. Okay. Well, if you I whatever follow you the follow, ism. there's a lot of people who are religious or they follow the ism, whatever they follow, and they think that even your behavior, while they may agree with you that what we do is wrong, they think that getting online and talking shit to women about how they look would be damaging yeah, to like their calling soul them too. whores all day on like a your lot chat. of religious. No, that's that's honest. People. That's that, really is honest. That honesty is that bad for your soul? Honesty is to great for your soul. That way? 
No, honesty is great for those. That's why when of, you said you're a you Negro, it's, it's for, it's when for, you said you're a Negro, I said, I'm a Negro. Okay, because honesty is phenomenal. Is it good for the, I'm a Negro. Okay, can you just answer my question? Is it good for the soul for your chatter to fester in your little chat and call us whores to let out their anger and use us as punching bags? How do, do you know you that they're that angry? What if they're not angry? What if they're completely calm and rational and they're stigmatizing you such that they can prevent others from following your dark path to destruction? Do you think someone typing in all caps in like a rumble chat, which is typically like the average viewer of these types of shows, is not I think people who type in all caps if it's just the one word in all caps i'm like all right you emphasize that cool emphasize if the it. whole sentence was in all caps i generally block these people there are because i think they're low intelligence like it's similar to people who don't know what the word global is they don't know what a median is or a mean or a mode in mathematics i think that they're low intelligence so these persons i would block or ignore because they're irrelevant on the planet so Earth. it's good for the soul for them to incessantly call us names I don't think that Instead of being, engaging with the content. I think you're bringing up a, a very meaningful point. So number one, you guys being here is a show. You are, you are, you guys are no one to debate in general. You're no one for me to debate. It's a show. You're here to promote your only fans. I'm we here. Literally, and we just I'm, debated Michael Knowles and we didn't touch yeah. on only fans at all. That was just about politics and culture. I hear you. But the only reason that There's you're reason there, we for this debate the only reason, <laughs> the only reason that you're there is because no male nature is ruled by carnal desire and so you guys are just props really no we didn't really show much you're, you're show just much a prop skin. the third you're person just with us doesn't do only fans she didn't show any skin. i know that it Either would be it would be psychologically or... damaging for you to accept your true position no. and the human being has to in their psyche find a redeeming then why factor was our third panelist or else you would off yourself girl? why was our third why wouldn't they bring on another there? only fans girl because then you'd have three. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's the a great reason. We're there as carnal set dressing. Why not? But you're already there, so that that checkbox is already checked. You checked it twice. Yeah, it's wars. already checked. You got a skinny one, and then you got a you, you got the BBL deluxe, and then you got the Anorexia. the emaciated minimum. At least you know? my boobs aren't fake. Anymore. So, <laughs> the point is this. Um, where were we? You kind of distracted me as you were talking. There was I was getting to something. It I felt, said, do, you think it's, do you think it's good for the soul for your uh, yes, to take yes. out their anger? No, that's a really good like question, us. Farha. And I, you know what? One of the reasons that I do have a problem with uh, RP is because I do find that there is actual, uh, actual in some cases, there's legitimate misogyny. In some cases, I also think that, do you know what this word is? Yes. Wait, wait hold on. Don't say anything. You don't say anything. Yes, it's, you. Like, it's hating. It's the opposite of misogyny. Can you pronounce Misandry. the word? Okay, and what does this mean? It means hate. It's the same hatred of men. I feel like we prepped her too much for it. Damn, damn. I should. I we should have never miss, mentioned misogyny. God damn. You you got over on me. God damn it. Anyways, um, sasmbrand.com. If you want to teach some more of these types, what this word means, log in, boss up. Sasmbrand.com. Anyways, you do have a good point about the hatred piece. And one of my issues with uh, the RP uh, community is that there's several things, but number one is I do believe that the female is a natural pair to the male. They offer significant value. It is typically different from that of the male. They are a complement, And so at some level, we need the female because we are a natural pair, natural. So when we spew out all this hate, it shows that the males have experienced trauma just as you two have probably experienced something broken or there's something in your head that's just not right. And that's something I speak against because we're all better together. So I agree with you there. When we talk about the hatred of constantly calling someone like you a whore, if it's merely describing you or stigmatizing you with purpose, I think it's fantastic. But if it's to express my anger, rage, disappointment, trauma, I putting my ex's face on your body, if it's all that nonsense, I think it's detrimental to both of us. The word is calling her a dumb whore every other sentence. I told you, that's her job. She, this well, is okay, who she is a question. description. I have a, I have a different it's an adjective. Question. I have a different question. Do you think, and there are plenty of very religious, godly people who may agree with you that what we're doing is sinful, that it's damaging, that it's demonic, but <sighs> do you think that they would say it's good for the soul to come on here and talk about people's body types or their lips and all that stuff would you disagree did i hurt your feelings them? no 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 I'm i hurt your you. feelings i'm asking jasmine you. can you answer the question i wish i could use your real name instead you of your answer, fake I mean, name you didn't make fun of but I mean, listen, jasmine i would like to say no this is important can jasmine i, ask the question? I want I ask everyone the question? to know for the can record the she did not ask, ask me to apologize can I usually the chicks usually do this they ask you to apologize this is the leftist is that good tactic. for your soul? They say you need to apologize. Is that she good didn't for ask your soul? me, but I've observed that her feelings I are hurt. Your apology. And as a man, right. 
Accept- Sometimes you have to give them right. a little something. Right. I accept your make apology. Make them feel better. I accept your apology. Because I you heard her. Engage? And it's not right. Do you want to engage? Okay, so Jasmine, I accept your apology. I get it. You're I apologize sorry. I for it. making fun All right. of you. I, I accept your apology. I but apologize. my question is, would you say those people are wrong? Those people that Ooh. are godly. These people that say, like, you can make your point mm-hmm. without being vitriolic. Ext- vitriolic. Do you think it's good for your what soul? What does vitriolic mean, Jasmine? You do it in a hostile way where you're okay. coming at people's appearance when you're doing low blows. Do you think mm-hmm. those people are wrong to say it's not good for your soul to attack people in this way? That you can uh, make your point without... Like, be nice. Play nice. Be nice. I'm just asking, right? are they wrong to say that be you can nice. do it without talking about their appearance? Be or nice, to Marquette. Use... Be nice. That's how you hurt my feelings. I am talking about feelings. You're saying from a soul, like preserving your own soul. Hurt my feelings. Like having good self You're a Negro. You hurt my feelings. You black Negro. I'm such a joke. I don't know what to do. <laughs> just call me a black negro why would we say black and negro because so it sounds more mean though doesn't it i swear it does no, it, sounds black on it. it sounds more mean <laughs> more mean you black <laughs> negro. negro we're not talking about our feelings for the black person negro. don't you feel like it's bad for their own soul soul preservation to just practice hatred does that feel good people? no there's no hatred I, I there's no hatred you guys are symbols and i despise what you are and i think the more we can stigmatize you know what it means is despise not a synonym for hatred listen listen <laughs> listen the more I stigmatize what you are, the more there are onlookers who say, oh, I don't want to be in that seat. I don't want to be in that position. I don't want to be looked upon that way, especially with regards to females. Because one second, love, you asked me the question. I'm answering it right now. Because with regards to females, you guys tend to be more agreeable and the community matters and the culture matters, which culture is not established by two persons, as you suggested earlier. So as someone who is influential, influential. as someone who is influential and can spread, that's why you're here, dummy. As someone who is influential, and can spread culture, <laughs> then yes, I do want to continue condemning you in the harshest terms. And I also want to marginalize you and I also want you broke because I want you to be disempowered in the society and put in your proper place. So, so why do you always, yes. so why did you like say like it could be a mutually beneficial for us business wise to keep collabing together and put our links below? Why do you do that? Isn't that promoting no, our listen, business? The people who are watching who actually follow my message, they wouldn't ever subscribe to they you. It's do, a ludicrous the, concept. It, our first is our it's literal the first, concept. The clip that went viral so from our first interaction what you was have a to subscriber is the one who put us together in the first place. Here's the thing you need to understand. That was a fan of yours and so a fan of mine. I invite you on for the same reason you came on, which is to get benefit, you see, because in us so bantering not- back and forth, we will have a viral clip that will be cut and spread throughout the internet. And there will, will be persons. Me money. And probably not you. And we're also not accusing you of selling your soul. And <laughs> That's because it's it would be ludicrous. You'd look dumb to say but something like that. There's no evidence. Tell me, how have I sold my soul? I want to hear it. That wasn't my point. How have my I sold my soul? You, think you can't accuse me. So that's your if point. You You're saying Marquette, symbols. don't call me a bad name. Well, the bad name is true. And I welcome okay, you I'm calling nice. me what I am. I don't mind if being what I am. See us I'm a Negro. That's great. Hey, how about this? You, I'm a Negro. You, you see us as symbols of Satanism. Why would you platform I didn't say Satan, Satanism. And put links to Satan's Instagram. I did not say Satanism. And you literally said you put us on here because of the Satanic act of your audience wanting to like. I did not say women. satanism i did not say a satanic act. soulless you satanic. platform i said you have no soul we're gonna make Which more money than i can you see made, it's probably ever in, in your, your eyes this- what about her? absent in your eyes yeah I, yes. but then if i'm emotional and have a soul then i'm triggered so what's words with the balance never said that you're making up things you said we're defensive and we're emotional and if i say i don't have why do you always look soulless. at her this is a very feminine thing we're but you're in a masculine yes, pers- really you're in a masculine position right now you're trying to contend with a man just make eye contact with me you don't have to look to her for She's comfort nice or reassurance you need reassurance what you said but yeah so my point is why platform someone who's soulless like why platform soullessness why, why, why do you ask only fans why do you ask, why do you ask? i think you're smart en- i think you're smart enough to know why don't you tell me the answer you're why smart enough to know on a podcast tell me no you're <laughs> smart enough to know now if it was her if it was her i wouldn't say that but you are smart enough to know why are you I here to vegas to steal man you're your smart position. enough to yeah to argue with yourself on a podcast why are you here? Because you want your cake and to eat it too. You want to like offer you the torture porn of dunking fans. on us while also offering your audience the porn. Look, so they could take either category. Oh, you think you think I would like to offer my audience porn? You think that's why you're here you're, for me? Look, only my fans intention. One second, love. Give a sponsorship. Why does she have no? You, you so, are who is your father? Bring her father here. You are if you're, fa- I just want to no. Say this. You are well, would your father ever the can we get your father on? Girls get sponsored. What I want, I want her and her father on my show. 
I want you and you're your father. Important on. enough for my father. I want you and your father. <laughs> you're, you're your father's a nobody me. loser. I, no he one would be proud of you. You don't want to be proud of you. Your father's is. Persian. Where's if your Fletch? father went to Iran, he would be vilified. He would be looked down on as scum to have a daughter like you. You're vilified in the You are scum to a father. You are scum to your whole country of origin. You're scum to your whole country of origin. Your whole country of origin. But you're sponsoring you're ludicrous. Money, you're sponsoring how much money do I have in my bank account? I'm broke. How much money do I have? Definitely not Tell as much me. as you pretend. How much? Can but I want to know up? how much. I want to know how much. I, you don't have that information. I want to know. All you have on the internet is How lies. do you tell me how much money I have then? I you, you sound you dumb. You just, I can tell you how much you don't have. How much don't I have? You definitely don't have millions of dollars. Okay. Do I have one million? Probably not. Because no, I can't probably not. Okay. anything that would make you. You have a YouTube channel that doesn't get a ton of views. Okay. You don't really Why are you here then? What am I, why am I here? Because we are really I have a YouTube channel that doesn't get views. Why are debate, you here? We were going to debate. Why are you here? Yesterday. I didn't so, ask what you were going to do. I said, why are you here? If it doesn't get views. We were coming to Vegas and we were trying to figure out what else we could do. Because you're Vegas, broke. And I was like, you're broke and you need every money. opportunity to get, make money. And thank you for giving me the you're opportunity. Broke. You're thank welcome. Thank you for sponsoring you're OnlyFans. You're Damn. You, I'm sponsoring here. I got equity in the OnlyFans out here, man. I got equity in OnlyFans. It's the people. Your, total your uh, super chat money, and oh, that's probably what goodness. I've made times ten. Times just ten. In this, just in this interaction. Times ten. Yes. You know, one thing I really like about you, she exposes the only value that she feels she has. She's never that's spoken to any said. merit. When I asked her earlier, I said, "If you didn't exist, if you died right now, or better yet, never existed, which would be much better." What would the world be missing? And I asked and she, you that. Question, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. And she couldn't name a single unique thing that she has offered to the world because she has no value. Hold on one second, love. And furthermore, <laughs> anytime, IP? don't you don't have to interrupt because you're embarrassed. You don't want the truth to get no, out. People I'm, like you, you try I, to close up on the truth. Now. You're Let me finish. Let me finish. You weren't talking. Nope, I'm talking. So the fact I'm of the matter is that. The fact of the matter is. Calm down. This guy is a scammer. Calm down. He has no business. So she can only say. That None she of his has fake money wouldn't exist. Very either. good. One second. Very good. One second. She can only he say he does th not have an IP. Go look up his businesses. Literally, Love, when you click stop. on it, I'm stop, trying to go stop, easy stop, on you. I'm, I'm trying to go easy on you, on you but I'm you're behaving like an animal. You're really, you are. Like I can you're tell your father like did not give you any you discipline. You your and because your father never taught you anything, that's why you have all of this surgery. You have low self esteem. You have all these surgeries, things trying to make you feel better. Because you're a totally fake person. And you why? have no belief in yourself. Stuff? That's why you have you to sell to, your you butthole. You have You're to really low IQ. Company, you go by a fake name. You don't even know what a median know. is. You don't know what median know. is. What you don't know what the word is. global you means. You're low you IQ. IQ. I'm glad you, you brought her because it made it you interesting. I was IP. I was kind of scared IP? of what What's we were talking IP? about. I'm glad yeah, you're here. I'm glad you brought her. Thank you. And thank you thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Other than the one where you're showing how to have sex. Thank you. Very good. Can we pull that up? Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. What's your IP? You are a nut. What is your IP? <laughs> God, Joe, what you are you contributed? Nut. What's your IP? Yo, you are actually nuts. Shout out to Dwayne. To he writes question. men would. What is your IP? He writes men what would. What is your company? I don't know exactly what this one relates to, but he writes men would kill themselves. Stop the lies. Oh, I think you said if they didn't have your OnlyFans, men would kill themselves earlier. You said that, right? If they didn't have your app, nothing Strong would change. Strong 2020 writes, uh, <laughs> these broads are incorrigible. Correct. And that's what I try to tell you guys. You can't... Um, you can't save them. They're they're beyond saving. Go ahead, hit me. Directly, Marquette, could you rate these 304s out of 10? And would you give them the pipe? Out of 10 on attractiveness, I presume? I'm assuming that's what he means. You know, I I, I honestly try to stay away from these kinds of things. It's very common on After dating shows. <laughs> I didn't call her. Did I say the word ugly? I never called you ugly. Globally unattractive. Sorry. There you go. Ugly. Globally unattractive. <laughs> that's all. Did you ever figure out what globally means? Yes, and there's Good, thank you. Okay, so unattractive could be you you will admit that you didn't understand though. No, I did understand. Oh God, you don't ever <laughs> you do not fuck with the truth. Um, will I rate them? I'm not gonna rate them because honestly, I think that if we want to, I don't want to set a precedent of that being important. One thing I want you guys to all remember is this: when you actually want to get into a relationship with a woman, um, her looks are the thing that's going to wane the quickest. Her looks are not going to raise your children. And I'm not saying any of these women are suitable to have children or raise children with because they're not. But I also don't want to get in the habit of rating chicks like that's a primary value of women. Now, for your side girl, I expect if she's a side piece, she should be physically attractive. You heard me? But if she's your main woman, then she needs to have merit. She needs to have all the things that are going to last over a lifetime. 
And so rating the girls or asking their body count is not really something I get into. It's a, it's a bit juvenile. I'm not saying body count doesn't matter. It absolutely does matter. And so I would definitely want a girl with no body count or an extraordinarily low body count. And I also wouldn't deal with a, a female who engages in sexual perversion, which is to say engaging with the same gender and things like that. Um, so I will simply say that I find them to be women that I would never have a relationship with of any kind. And I would also be embarrassed to take them out in public. I, we'll think see. That's, I think that's consistent. I like that he wouldn't rate us because if he's saying that like women's values and their look, then that'd be kind of like a pro OF argument. It's like we should monetize that value. So I respect that. And he's monetizing us. Enough, oh, wait, right? you're saying I was logically consistent? Yeah. I appreciate that. That's thank you very much. I, I really do appreciate that. Go ahead. Stop playing, Trey. For the master communicator course speech, can I write it about black women wearing their natural hair since I already make content on this topic? Oh, that's brilliant. I think you absolutely should do that. And I, I love the alignment there. And shout out to the folks who have the Master Communicator course. It is the best out there. I highly recommend it. Um, you know what? I thank you really. It is a high compliment to say that I'm logically consistent because it's important to me. And I think that the world is in lack of uh, good guiding systems. I think that religion, however good it may be, has largely failed in the modern era. We're seeing slow growth. Now, Islam is growing fairly rapidly, except that I don't think that it's has that purity. You got people like you who say you're a raised Muslim. You don't know what a Sunni Muslim is. So it, it's growing, but it's growing at low quality. And so I think we need a secular guiding system. So I thank you for uh, acknowledging the logic. Yeah, I think secularism yeah. is good. Yeah. You think Satanism is good. <laughs> Carrying on. We caught up there. Uh, one more. I feel jabrizi. Be quiet and drink your Satan's inner water. I pee that. <laughs> in a real way right, you the, uh, at least we have in something here way. i have no evidence of his companies but i have an evidence of, of uh this watch i just side note i produce this watch we produce this sweatshirt we produce these waters uh there's a leather backpack right on that table the black backpack briefcase you get that at mdblabel.com we produce that i could actually go on for quite a while so he some merch he definitely doesn't have an ip though <laughs> you have low iq i also you have very low iq i also let me tell you actually all the what things that IP? I've done. Let me what tell you all IP? the, I'll tell you right after. Oh. Just tell me this real quick. No, no, no. What's the $4,000 scam? No, no, no. What's no, no, no. Your IP? What's the $4,000 scam? What's, your IP? What's the $4,000 what scam? What's what oh, wait, real quick. Show me a million dollars in your bank account. Show me a million dollars in your bank account. Show me a million dollars in your bank account. Show me a million dollars in your bank account. After you show me your million, I'll show you mine. Because I actually have it. Have I ever said any time at all how much money I have ever? You made. You said you made a company listen, that you didn't make. Have I ever? Have I ever said how much money I had? You ever? Said you have IP. Just that listen. You do not have. have I Addie, ever do you have said? IP? Have do you have I, an oh IP? Gosh. Do you this have an IP? This one is tough. Is, you is have this IP? your friend? Is this your friend? No. No. Seriously, is this your friend? Yeah. She's your friend. Yeah. What's your IP? She's your friend. Come on. You What's know better than you got to like stop hanging out with dumb girls. I know. You got to stop hanging out with dumb girls. You got to stop hanging out with dumb girls. Really. It's it's distasteful. It makes you look bad. I guess you can't look bad if you're an OnlyFans person. Why do they call you OnlyFans models? You're porn. You're in porn. Would you agree? You're a pornographer, right? Why do you call yourself an entrepreneur? You're, you're a pornographer, and an right? IP holder when you're not. Pornographer? Yeah. You make porn. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm just call you guys pornographers. OnlyFans model. This is outrageous. Kind of similar to Instagram. Like model. calling it's yourself ludicrous. a technologist, it's philanthropist, ludicrous. boxer that you made a fake it's video ludicrous. pretending it was the BBC, like that. Can you stop being obsessed with BBCs? As soon as I come around, all you talk about is BBC. As soon as I come around, I told you no, that dick pic got IP. her. That dick pic got her berserk in here. It's <laughs> crazy, man. I didn't dickmatize this little bit right here. She dickmatized. <laughs> BBC. Am, literally BBC. That's why she keeps saying Negro because she began into the race play. Right I've been piping now her is down. To find it's crazy out here. Buddy and Fletch and it trying to figure crazy. out what app you have that people are using. It's insane. Can't find it. What's your idea? Oh my. Oh, you're fully caught up. Caught up. Yep. Fantastic. Do you have any closing words for the people? Yes. My closing word is that I think we should make a effort on the internet. When yes. someone has intellectual property, it's not difficult yes. to find. We should be able to confirm that yes. this man. Tell me actually, the $4,000 scam. No, no, no. Everything, everything she mentions is nonsense. I thought I had my closing statement. I you are a person statement. who makes up things. Can I finish my closing statement? It's sad. Can I finish my closing you have statement? no integrity. So I think we should all be. Explain I'm it. I'm going to start explain an it. effort. I'm going to explain it right now. Wait, We're explain what you already know. Yeah, this Give is them what the I evidence. Know. They want to know. Yeah, this if is I'm know. a faker, this they want to know. know. Explain exactly. it now. Tell this us. Is what I we want to know. know. This is yeah. What Tell I want to know is where is the evidence that this man has any type of intellectual right. property or right. that this man has created any. What research successful. have you done? I have I looked up what do you know? Like Fletch app. Okay? okay, what do you know? And if you go on it, everyone I say you go on it. How do you download this? This doesn't seem to have anything. What do you know about it? 
I don't know because there's nothing on the uh, internet because you made wait, it up. So it's did, not a real thing. You did your research, I did right? my research. There's okay. nothing on it. And you never found any like, articles on it? Only not any, uh, not anything that oh, you, was... Oh, you sound fucking stupid. Shut no, up. Not Anyways, come on to the real. next person. She started mumbling as soon as I said nothing you found no articles. She started mumbling. The you're dumb. Carry on. Next person. Go ahead. Fake. Go ahead. If there's a real Go intellectual ahead. property, you're, you're done. You're done. You're done. Go ahead. So I for the audience. Let's find his intellectual property, not fake articles that you can pay for. I want no one believes you. You're you're a failed lawyer. You're a failed lawyer. People think you're dumb. You don't even know what the word median means. Go on. You're a liar. I didn't come up with it myself. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Cultural Club USA. These two represent the large swath of universally hive-minded, eternally group-thinking, corporate-controlled trend followers that comprise the vast majority of modern Western women. Brilliant Damn. show, Saint. D. Bravo. I appreciate you. Shout out to D. Bravo. Ladies and Saints, it's been a pleasure to have you on. And um, I tell you, oh yeah, I meant to say, you know, if if I had a billion dollars right now, I would just invest it in marketing instead of using tools like you to spread my message because I, I find this to be a bit unpleasant. I don't like to mix energies with low energy invest and low in IQ Fletch people. App, please invest in you got to learn how to pronounce app. English words. Can we get her Fletch motherfucking ESL not, tutor? Fletch why do you keep you messing it? up your pronoun? Why what do you keep I, messing what did I up? What did I mispronounce? Why have you mispronounced four what did I words? Just now? You need to what study. Send her back to her country. Fletch get Trump app. back in. Get this bitch back out of here. Ladies and Saints, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Until next time, peace of the saints. You can click the button in the upper right corner. It says end stream. Fletch 